Hello and welcome to Versus Live. I'm Ross Merriam. And I'm Corey Ballmeister. And we've got Rob in the booth. Say hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Rob yes. will be taking all of your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Make sure to tag at Star City Games so he can see them and send his favorites over to us. Now, uh, before we begin, uh, Corey and I just want to address the uh, you know announcement that happened earlier this week. Uh, and sadly, Versus Live is going to be discontinued at the end of February. So we've got uh, today's show and then four more weeks. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Corey and I will be moving on to other things. Mm -hmm. uh, so we nine shows. Can nine you shows. believe it? We got to I mean, I we should have announced this when there were 10 to do the 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 final top 10 countdown, but... But now we have an odd number to compete for the marbles. Ooh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, we... we all right, that's a good point. These marbles are just, you know, open now. We got nine <laughs> shows. Whoever wins <laughs> whoever wins five or more shows just takes them home. How about that? Okay, agreed. Okay. That's how we're doing it. I like so, it. I like it. Uh, you know, thank you. But I suppose you who, still get to go first. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're not giving that up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, we'll continue trying to, uh, make the show as well as possible in, uh, in that time frame, and, uh, hope you all tune in <laughs> while we continue to do it. But, uh, yeah. that's just the reality of the situation. So, yep. It's a bummer. And, you know, I'll, I'll pretty much echo the same thing from Ross here. It, it really has been a privilege to do this for the last couple of years. You know, it's been fun doing with this, w this with you and Rob. Um, you know, it's sad. There's, there's no way around it, but doesn't mean we have to make these last nine shows just us crying in the corner. We could. I mean, maybe that'll be a bonus piece I've of I've been content. doing that for the last couple of days, so I have I'm, I'm okay. kind of over it by now. Yeah, I don't see many more, you know, tears <laughs> able to fall there. It's, so. just, it's bone dry now. I knew it. I knew it. So we might as well have some fun for nine more shows then, huh? Yeah. We are certainly going to have fun today. Yes. Because yes. we've had so much fun playing Pioneer, and we had initially planned to do some reactions to potential modern bands for today's show, but mm -hmm. there were none. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to do some band, uh, you know, reaction. Like, that was the whole point of this. We're not going to play standard because I'm still not interested. I don't know about you. No one's interested. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. And Legacy, I still don't want to be handling all those expensive cards. <laughs> like, I feel too uneasy uh, with, you know, $10,000 in my hand as I gently shuffle. Uh, Should have so, been yeah. there for the couple times we did vintage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Mox? <laughs> Just be having gloves on, to be honest? Mm. Basically, we, <laughs> probably should have been. We huh? didn't do a whole lot of shuffling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like Rob comes over, has to shuffle them all. Like, <laughs> you kidding me? I'm not touching the power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't you put that evil on me? <laughs> I had to, to sleeze some of it. I was scared enough doing that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I borrowed just four volcanic islands for a legacy tournament. Uh, you know, from Ely, from a friend, and I felt sketched out the whole time. But luckily, he didn't care that much. He's like, no, just shuffle those cards. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've had such a good time playing pioneer for the last couple of shows we thought we would keep it rolling and mm -hmm. uh today we're actually just going to bring you some of the cool decks that we've seen yeah you know not potentially top tier decks but the wider range that pioneer has to offer if you're looking for something fun for your fnms or just to uh, hang out at the kitchen table yeah uh, and who knows options. there could be some gems in here you yeah. know i am also playing one deck that i think is probably pretty good i think it has to have a, a right metagame for it a little later but otherwise yeah two kind of crazy decks <laughs> starting with this one it is just a genesis ultimatum deck which you know in a format where four of mystical dispute is pretty common in every blue deck <laughs> because there's no veil. Yeah. I mean, like most blue decks besides Phoenix are like usually kind of blue and green, like the blue combo deck, um, ascendancy. the ascendancy and stuff. Like um, there's a decent amount of blue green where veil would kind of be that counter spell. But since veil is not in pioneer, mystical dispute is that card to fight other counter spells in every blue deck. And playing seven mana blue cards is usually not ideal, but here we are. We're going to try it anyways. Uh, Batatina, somebody I, I love copying their list from, uh, made this list. So pretty yeah. excited to check it out. Fortunately, you will not be playing against any Mystical Disputes in uh, this match. But yes. I do have some discard spells. This is actually a deck that I brewed yesterday after having so much fun <laughs> playing Voldar and Epicure on Tuesday's show. I made a YouTube video this morning yeah. with Voldarian and Epicure, too. I, I, caught the, I caught the Epicure blow. Epi I was going to say Epicure Bug, but then I said Epicure Blood. The Epicure Blood Bug. Yeah, we're we going go. with that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I say just, that 10 times you know, fast. 
thought maybe I'd explore other things that we could do with the card. So this is a bit of a, like Rakdos madness, vampire shell. Okay. Uh, I think Rotting Regisaur is surprisingly well positioned in Pioneer right now. It's just very difficult to kill. Yeah, it's a really tough vampire to kill. <laughs> It's an honorary vampire. Okay, Discard okay. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. <laughs> or, there's like tw- 18 vampires. Like okay, that. okay. Uh, Rotting Retrosaur is not one of them, but it uh, is a great discard outlet for your mana cards. And oh, it's yeah. really, really difficult to kill because it doesn't have a lightning axe that you see in the Phoenix decks. It often doesn't die to Fatal Push because it's hard to turn on Revolt in Pioneer. Y- except with the Rakdos decks. You know, yeah. like that's kind of the exception uh, and, is that new one. And but. then we're starting to see a lot more portable holes uh, fight for spots with Chain to the Rocks. Yeah. The decks that used to be playing four Chain to Rocks are now playing two to three of each and usually about five total. So, uh, yeah, a lot of common removal spells that just don't touch Rotting Registrar right now. Uh, so hopefully, you know, it can put the beatdowns before Genesis Ultimatum rears its head because I don't think I can win a game if that card resolves. Well, I can hit five lands easy. This is this is one where it's not you can, like... but you won't. I won't. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if we saw anything from the last verses, uh, that clip of the day was nice, Rob. Good call on that one. So, all right, let's battle. I uh, got lucky last week and got you, got you beat, so I'm guessing you want to go first? I do indeed. Okay. How's your hand? I will keep it. I'm going to keep, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's something. It's a hand okay. of magic cards. I'm going to lead on Den, Falconrath, Gorger. Oh, baby. Savannah line that does something very bad, it, right? It, it gives all my vampires madness for their regular cost. Okay, okay. I'll just play this and pass to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of not bad then, huh? I agree. Exactly okay. kind of not bad. I've got another Den. Let's okay. For two. 18. And then I'll play an Insolent Neonate. Okay. Pass the turn. You're doing things. I'm proud of you. Okay. It, I, it, it probably doesn't surprise you to learn that I love this card. I do love that <laughs> card, too, to be honest. But yeah, usually you're pairing it with Golgari Grave Troll, huh? <laughs> and it's no surprise I love this card. So right. I'll play this and pass to you. Okay. On your end step, I will sack the near Nate. Fiery Temper? Fiery Temper. <laughs> okay. the cobra. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> Killing my snake. Uh, now I've got an Urborg. Let's okay. get in for another two. All right, 16. I'm now five color. And then play Rotting Regisaur. Okay. You're up. Reggie's back. Well, I'm in trouble. I just <laughs> have a Lotus Cobra and a tap land. I'm going to add black and pass to you. Okay. Uh, on my upkeep, I will discard Falconrath Gorger and play it for Madness. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of mad scientist <laughs> deck did you create here? Wow. <laughs> um, well, I will, uh, I guess, attack you for nine. Um, I'll take it. Puts you to seven. Yep, no big deal. Then I will play Seer Step Pathway, seeing as I have Urborg. Okay. And I will just hard cast this Fiery Temper, I guess, that I just drew. Okay, jerk. And pass the turn. Well, I really needed that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just at least needed one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much dead here because I'm going to be in the abyss. Um, I can go like this and play an Omnath and hope I draw something, I guess. I mean, another Omnath Fable Passage turn next. Yeah, that's... Well, it was going to be an Omnath yeah. Fabled Passage turn this turn, but you're a jerk. So, whatever. We'll go like this. I'll draw a card, and I'll pass to you. Okay. On my upkeep, Four. I'll discard this Scrappy Scrounger. Okay. <laughs> another honorary vampire. <laughs> and draw a card. That seems good. Yeah, that's lethal. Play another Seer Step. Yeah. Just animate it in. Wow. Wow. Rotting Regis were too strong. Yeah, that was that was one <laughs> heck of a curve. I literally used all my mana one through five. Every single turn <laughs> and then had just the cap off of here comes some dens or bring back scroungers. Okay, well, we're going to go to the sideboard. I'm hoping I get to play some magic too. Did Don't I break go- it? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. That man is madness. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to Versus Live, where we are sideboarding between Four Color Genesis Ultimatum and Rakdos Madness. Uh, from my end, I'm taking out some of my card advantage and the cards that are just a little clunky. Fae of Wishes, I do not think is really a playable card outside of being paired with Fires. And like this ramps in weirder ways where, you know, Fires isn't the ramp spell. It is just like being able to go Lotus Cobra 
into four drop or carry added into four drop. And with that being the case, you can't really fires because it just doesn't work out that well. Um, so I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to get rid of the two expressive iterations and Hallbreaker horror still have, um, escape the wilds, Omnath, still some other card advantage as well for just a pile of removal. I'm going to get you bad with this one settle. Cause you're going to forget about it for game three. And, uh, you know, Sunset Revelry is probably the one that's the best against you. I wish I had three more of those. <laughs> Block those rotting Regisaurs all day. But, uh, yeah, that's all I'm, all I'm doing. And on my side, bringing in a pile of discard against the deck that's trying to go over the top against me. I've got a bunch of go blanks, collective brutality, which works really well in my deck. Yep. Uh, cutting fiery temper. It was a choice between temper and fatal push. And the fact that fiery temper doesn't kill Omnath, but fatal push can. Yeah. Uh, made it, you know, maybe lean towards push. Uh, turning a couple neonates because they're somewhat underpowered and I'm bringing in another discard outlet. So I kind of yep. make that swap of, you know, upgrading the neonates to brutalities if brutality is relevant in the matchup uh, and just becoming disruptive in ways that make more sense. Okay. Makes sense to me. Makes sense. You know, I'm going to be at three and you're going to top deck fatal push and you're gonna be like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Rob, you got any questions for us? I know there's a lot going on, so I'm sure some people got something. Uh, not no, incredibly, which is <laughs> but uh, oh, wait, here we go. He had one on what are your thoughts on the mechanics of Neon Dynasty so far? Uh, hit me with them. So far, I am completely in the dark. I know, I think the show is going on as we speak, or yeah, I think it was at noon. That's probably where we were getting. Maybe the show is even yeah. over, but. I know they had some show over at um, the Magic Channel, so but I haven't looked at anything. As far as I'm aware, they're bringing back Channel, okay. which is a mechanic from the original Kamigawa walk. Yep. Mm -hmm. They have completion or complete. Yeah, on the Planeswalker. At least. On the, Who knows? If yeah. Uh, okay, what does that is, do? It is essentially a hybrid mana that is also Phyrexian mana. Okay. So it's Phyrexian Simic. You can pay blue-green or two life. Oh. Oh, in Tamiyo's mana cost, it's two blue green and then one of this hybrid mana. Yeah, uh, so it can be a four I guess or five with mana that spell. Jin, Taxian, whatever that giant thing that's on the front cover. I mean, yeah. that was a Phyrexia, right? So that would make yeah, it's a what's Praetor. That, what's that called? I know it was like they're, a ten mana spell. They're Praetors, the big Phyrexians. They're Praetors, yeah. but yeah, what was that original? Oh, Jin Cataxius, uh, the eight blue blue. It is Jin Cataxius. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, that one doesn't that one doesn't have a mechanic this this time around? That one's an actual card. Again. Yeah, that's oh, really? a regular card. Well, yeah. it was a card last time, wasn't it? Wasn't it a ten it was mana a card, card? In, in New Phyrexia, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Limits reduces their hand size by seven. Yeah, you draw yeah. seven cards on your end step. You yeah, reanimate it. Okay, yeah, that's uh, what I remember. Yeah, yeah. but the uh, so the the thing about this new Phyrexian mana is that if you pay the two life, then the Tamio enters with two fewer loyalty. So oh. if, normal, if you pay five mana, it enters with five. If you pay four mana, it only enters with three. That's kind of cool. And one of its abilities is a minus X. Okay. That's cool. I yeah. like that versatility. That I think that's just a way for them to play around with making cheap planeswalkers again, but they're like dipping their toes in the pond a little bit instead of just like three to fairy, you know? Yeah. Like, so we figured out the three mana planeswalkers wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I think we can safely say that, right? To very three, Oko and Narset probably were not great ideas. So avoiding that again, if we can, is probably ideal. Agreed. <laughs> Uh, so but I, I know one you were kind of excited about. Did you? You didn't really talk about the Besage, new Besaju. Well, they were talking That's about the, the channel, mechanics. Right? I was trying to yeah. figure out if I was missing one because those are the ones that I'm aware ninjutsu, of. I guess. Oh yeah, obviously the Ninjutsu returning as well. Okay. So completion so is the only. There's new usually one. three. So we have Channel mechanics. Ninjutsu um, and reconfigure. Uh, as a oh mechanic. yeah, the there's an, a creature that is also an equipment, and so instead of an equip cost, it has a reconfigure cost. But it's similar to an equip cost. It just stops being a creature and, and goes on to it. You also have to pay that mana. You can pay that mana to unequip, but not attach it to something else. So it can go back to a creature if you want it. Oh, okay, okay. So it's slightly different, but very similar to equip. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the set, though. I'm excited for a change up. Uh, it should be a good time. I I do think Besaju is the best card previewed so far. Really? Yeah. Wait, and what was that again? It is the legendary Greenland. Oh, the tap, Greenland. Yeah, taps yeah. for green. And That's right. Channel for one and a green, either disenchant or field of ruin. Yeah. And uh, it costs one less for each legendary creature you control or legendary permanent. Legendary creature. Creature. So at field of ruin, like as in you pay two mana, destroy one of their lands, and we each search? Uh, no, they, no, they, they, they search. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. not losing a land. Okay. At least not one on the back. Because I was going to say, field of ruin, we get a land too. <laughs> That's a two mana far seek. Like you get <laughs> yeah. the ramp. That would be busted. That would be absolutely busted. That's what I thought it was right away. But okay. Uh, I'm going to keep it's. 
I don't know if it's going to be able to compete with what you did last game, but we'll yeah. see. I have a one land hand that only has creatures and has no disruptions, so that's just asking too much out of the top of my deck. Yep. Uh, I won't mulligan. Okay. I did have an insulin neonate to get an extra draw. And even with boarding two of them out, huh? Well, yeah, I can pitch a scrap heap scrounger. The neonate's <laughs> already there in the graveyard for it. You know you can just cast the scrounger, right? Uh, like on turn two, you can just play it as a three two, and then you can just attack with it. No, 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 no. The stack is it. about doing things <laughs> in a fancy way. Okay, it's, fancy madness, Ross. Yeah, can, that... we can we change the deck title? It's not Rackus <laughs> madness. It's fancy madness. Fancy madness, sure. <laughs> fancy madness. Fancy madness. I like it. I like it. All right, Rob, you got one more question at all? Yeah, a lot of new cards. Check out. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah, just, you know, more talking about the, the new mechanics stuff. There are yeah. uh, flip sagas now, uh, the transform oh, yeah. after the third chapter. Oh, really? Or yeah, there's a bunch chapter. of them. I guess it's not always three, but. Cool, cool. Hopefully not as powerful as there's a saga. <laughs> No, no, none of them jumped out at me. They all transform into creatures, it seems like. Okay. And okay. They, they get exiled first, so then they come back, so the creature isn't going to be able to attack immediately. Okay. Because, okay. It, because it left the battlefield. Um, oh, that's, that's cool, though. You know, maybe I, there's... I think that's how that works. I believe that's yeah. true, because it's a new entity if it gets exiled. Oh, yeah. the one thing that is cool for Trigger's Revolt, for Fatal Push decks and Pioneer yeah. and stuff, you know? But it also, there was, it seemed just like generic value things, like that. there was a one in a blue... Uh, one that loots for the first two chapters and then transforms into like a 2-3 flyer. Mm, you know, okay, kind okay. of limited cards. Sure, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm excited to check them out. Okay. Um, definitely have a keep here. Okay. And uh, I think we can just put that one back. Alright, I gotta catch you a try. I'm gonna pass to you. I will... Play Voldar and Epicure. Oh, Take God. One, please. GG. That's the new GG. You know, that's the new Heart's Desire. Uh, yeah, I'll take one, and then I'm just going to play a Breeding Pool tapped, and I'll pass to you. I'm at 19. Okay, I will attack you for one. 18. Uh, I'll take two for Blood Crypt. Okay. I'm at 18. Tie game. I will then Thought Seize you. Okay. I got these. Um, the iteration is tempting since that's what you're going to cast next turn, but yep. I do not have an answer for this Omnath, though currently you can't cast it. Heart of the cards. That said, like, you're, if, uh, so if I take iteration, you're actually, you know, you only have two draw steps to find a white source. Mm -hmm. Kind of risky. <laughs> it is risky, but yeah, I, I feel like it's probably one of those two. Yes, it's definitely yeah. one of those two. They're just the most immediate impact. Eugene's um, gonna gonna show you the business here in like six turns, though. <laughs> um, hmm. What am I afraid of? You iterating into probably just another Omnath, really. <laughs> um, you know, more ramp and interaction would, would also be good for you. Uh, yeah, this hand is definitely more clunky looking, but I figured it was almost better because the Lotus Cobra is like. They do not live. <laughs> They're mostly liabilities, so I think I was pretty fine with uh, not having something that falls into a fatal push. I'm going to take the Omnath. Okay. But, of course, this is the draw where you don't have a fatal push. Mm, yeah. Then I'll play a Falcon <laughs> Wrath Gorger. Oh, God. GG. That's the turn. All right. Let's see what we're going to draw. Um, yeah. Iteration. Um, we'll be putting this here. We'll put this one into our hand and this here, and I'll pass to you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh. My Omnas are in trouble then, huh? Dang it. Okay, let's attack for three. Uh, 15. Um, let's have two unknowns in hand. Two unknowns. I guess I will continue to play this conservatively and play Haunted Ridge and pass. Okay. All on top. Draw. That was a pretty good draw. No, you don't have fiery tempers. How many cards you got? Three. Eight. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Well, 
I guess I can do this first. Sunset Revelry. Wish I had more of these cards. This is a nice one. <laughs> and I'm at 16 here, 15. Sure are. <laughs> oh. Yep. Okay. I get one one at Shaheen's. And go to 19. Play this breeding pool tapped, and I'll pass to you. Okay. On your end step, I'll sack the blood token, discarding the push. Okay. I thought for sure there was a vampire coming in. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. my hand is a little clunky. Yay. Clunky is also scary because that means you got some big stuff coming for me. Um, I'll block. <coughs> hmm. I mean, cast this card in like a year and a half. I'm kind of getting excited if it, if I'm if given the option. Okay, I'm just gonna hard cast a Blood Hall Priest. Okay, I gotta read this one. If I'm hellbent when it ETBs are attacks, it shocks. Okay, so just four mana, four, four. Yep. Okay. Has madness for three mana. Okay. A little awkward with the blood. I wish I'd had an insolent neonate that could have cast it on turn three. Yep, that's pretty cute. Uh, I'm guessing you're not attacking? No. Okay. All right, let's escape the wilds. Uh, top five. Four, five. Okay, only one land, so I'm not pressured into playing this one now. I can play it later if I want to play a different land. Um, which Lotus Cobra and Fabled Passage are, are a combo there. So I suppose... I guess there is a few things to contemplate. No, I guess not really. I don't want to play that. So we're going to go like this and pass to you. Sad. Um, yeah, that might do it. Excellent. Excellent. Um, hmm. No, I miss seeing your face when I ca when I top deck busted cards. It's it's kind of what I live for here. Attack with Epicure and Blood Hall Priest. Okay, I'm at a healthy enough life total that I think I can keep around. Um, that I can keep around one of these to block this. So yeah, I'll block Epicure and take four. Go to fifteen. Yep. Epicure, I also just don't really care about that much, but whatever. And I will play Rotting Ridge of Soar and Insolent Neonate. Okay. And pass the turn. That is nice. I don't think I was going to be able to play Cobra next turn if you left up mana, because it was too risky. Um, so, let's go with Cobra. Add some combination that's going to cast this. Yeah. Uh, we'll get a blue. You can just make two blue and then green, green, red, red. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so these cards are going to be gone. What does this do again? Look at the top. You Would you like to cut? Mm, sure. Yeah. Okay, so top five. Put any number of permanents into the battlefield and the rest into your hand. So hand, hand, Omnath, a couple lands. So gain four, uh, add mana. Go um, to 19. And the, oh, so I can take damage with this, huh? If I want to. Uh, and have it untapped. Let's see. What can I cast? Oh, yeah, and I'm getting more mana from this. Okay, 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 okay. So, we're gonna have You're either gonna have six or seven, yeah. yep. Yeah, alright, we'll make seven uh, combinations that would be Genesis Ultimatum. <laughs> uh, that doesn't work because you, you get white. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Good point, good point. Okay, so seven mana. And you're at 17 then. Let's leave open a. Uh, so you have you have red, green, blue, white plus whatever two colors you want off Cobra. Yep. So with the red, green, blue, white, and this, well, I'll leave this untapped. I'll the one mana I'll have floating, I guess, is blue. Okay. So I'm gonna have a blue and pool plus this untapped, and go for this. Yep. All right. So this is a separate pile. Four, five. 
Um, so, I'm now that doesn't matter if you do four lands, right? It doesn't start over. Correct. Okay. Um, so three mana, I could do four, five. You will, uh, you only have two mana right now. You have blue, you have blue and pool is all you have. Okay, so I can do four. I yeah. can have four total mana to play with. Um, or, you could go or I could Cobra, do three, play yeah. land, make two, play spiral. Okay, yeah, we're going to start with Cobra. Um, then we're going to go add, uh, add blue green, and you're going to take four. Yeah, yeah. I'm a 12. 12. Add blue green, grow spiral. Yep. Oh, um, and now Corey can't put these lands onto the <laughs> battlefield to go spiral, but I assume he's got one. Rob, do I have another basic? Sorry, I'm. No oh, I guess I got a list right here. Never mind. I don't. I would imagine I don't. Like one, 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 I, one. I could see a second island. I could see a second island too. Three forests and oh. three islands. All right. So, so now we have no mana in pool. I can either do this or this. This would add one, two, three, four, five, six. Quite. So I could go up to six mana. Yep. Um. And then just <laughs> double radiant flames yep, the board. Yep. I'm gonna do a double radiant flames and just kill everything and uh, go from there. Blue, white, red, yep. blue, white, red, yep. We'll cast this, we'll cast this, these are dead, and I can play these lands next, next one of them. Yeah. Alright, that's all I have this turn. My deck got very much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I forgot how messed up Genesis Ultimatum is with Omnath and Lotus Cobra. Okay, I will play this Blood Crypt that I really needed to draw last turn, but I guess it wouldn't have made much of a difference. Yeah. I've got another Blood Hall Priest and now Hellbent, so I'll deal you two. All right. You go to 15. Uh, I was already at 15, so am I not at 13? Uh, I do go at 15 up to 19 from Omnath, down to 17 from the Temple Oh, yep, 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 yep. Now down to 15 again. Okay, so 15 to 12? Yep. All right. Pass the turn. All right. Omnom was one of the other cards I had uh, off that Genesis Ultimatum. Now, gain four, fetch. Add four. Go to 19. I did not do the math on if I that would have cast me this spell as well, but whatever. Um, then we'll go with Ugin. And can't kill that. So I'll deal three to you. Yep. Put you to nine. And then I will play a Sylvan Carry added. And I'll pass the turn. Get rid of these. Yeah, I'm very dead. Okay. <laughs> I could have just cast Genesis Ultimate. I probably should have did that first, but. All right. Well, believe it or not, when this go big deck. Yeah. Is given time to go big, it will indeed go big. Yeah, just uh, having to essentially take turn three off. I mean, yeah, I didn't have enough pressure and uh, yeah. needed a little bit more disruption there. Another discard spell. Yeah, yeah. If you would have got the escape the wilds, I'd, I'm not really doing much. Yeah, escape the wilds really turned on everything there. So one more thought or even a go blank was going to put me in a weird spot, but I think it still would have left me with land escape the wilds yeah. and even even one more card. I think I had five, uh, so it wouldn't have been you know GG, but would have been good. All right, last game of uh, this round, then we'll move on. Rob, you got anything spicy over there? Not right now. Okay, okay. What about all those buffalo wings you're eating? You going to share those or? Uh, uh, no. Those are okay. sweet barbecue. They're not very spicy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> all right. Yeah, the deck looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, uh, so far, I, I was a little worried about Blood Hall Priest just because... The, that didn't of, look good, yeah. It, it's just the cost of it. Because yeah. a lot of the time, you do just have a Blood Token. I've got two Blood Tithe Harvesters and four Epicures. Yeah. So on turn three, I think having just any Vampire that had two mana madness, and those are they're, the options are pretty bad. What about Croxa? So, That's kind of a two mana honorary madness creature. Yeah, not really. It doesn't advance the battlefield. Yeah. There's some Croxas in the sideboard. Okay, probably worth it to have like two. Yeah. You know, it's definitely not a four Croxa deck like the other uh, yeah. one because you don't want to play suppliers. That seems bad. Uh, and here, here you go, Corey. I got a question for okay. you. Okay. I gotta, I gotta pull this card up so I can make sure I read it right. Okay. Wouldn't want to get it wrong on versus live, obviously. Uh, we don't screw up here. 
Nope. No, we don't screw all. up here, especially on our last nine wrong. shows. Like, right. we're going to be perfect. So, New Planeswalker, uh, The Wandering Emperor, two okay. white, white, two white, white, three loyalty Planeswalker. Okay. Uh, it has Flash. As long as the Wandering Emperor enters the just Flash are so weird. <laughs> this turn, you may activate her loyalty abilities anytime you could cast an instant. Never mind. <laughs> uh, plus one. Put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature. It gains first strike until end of turn. And a minus one, create a 2-2 two, two white samurai creature token with a vigilance. And minus two, exile target tapped creature. You gain two life. Sorry, repeat that plus one. It's first strike to a creature and you get something? And a counter. Plus and one, a plus one counter. Plus one, plus one counter. Oh, on the creature. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's a it's a plane combat, combat trick. trick. Yeah. yeah. You can exile an attacking creature, right? Exile yeah. a tap creature. So just like play it, kill your creature, untap, either keep it around to plus on something or just make a creature out of it and get your two for one. Yeah. That card's good. Yeah. That card's really good. Uh, it's, it's a tr tricky card. Yeah. And just being able to end step, you know, like if you're behind on board, be able to go through combat, be like, yeah, soak up a little damage. I got one creature. It's not even able to block their other creatures. So you're like, dang, you know, and then you go end step, play that, put a counter on something and then untap, kill something, progress your board. And now you have a planeswalker that you have a battlefield set up for. And you've gotten value out of it. I think that's yeah. a, a it, that's the best card of the set so far for it, me. It's, it's a planeswalker that you're, if you, if you resolve it, you're guaranteed to get two activations out of it before it dies. Yeah, yeah. Which is really cool. Uh, I mean, barring a removal spell or something. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. removal, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but like, they can't attack it down. With, and that's the that's the best way to answer Planeswalkers, right? You're answering it without using any material. And there's no ultimate on it, right? No. Okay, no. it's just... It's just starts at five. No, it starts at three. Starts at three. Has a plus one, a minus one, minus two. Minus so if one, you, minus if you two. If okay. you exile a creature and make a two-two, the Planeswalker goes away. So you got to use the plus one at some point to keep it around. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, I still think that's a good card. Yeah. I think that's a really good card. Okay, sweet. It's not the kind of Planeswalker that's going to run away with the game, but it has yeah. a really high floor, which for a four-mana Planeswalker, like, sometimes they're just a liability. Yeah. You know, when you're on the draw against an aggro deck, yeah. this is actually a card that, like, is going to give people pause. Yeah, and honestly, that's uh, that's sore in the Merthyllus for me right now. I think that's the four mana Planeswalker that is has been a liability more than it's been good for me, you know. And I, I think that's better than Soren, and I think Soren is seeing play right now. So yeah, I like it. Cool. Okay. My hand is hot medium. I'll keep. I will keep as well. Okay. Uh, I'll go to eighteen and play insolent neonate. Okay. GG. Um. Yeah, I'll start with this and I'll pass to you. My castle, attack for one. Okay, take it. You're at 19. Yep. Um, and I am just going to brutality in the dress mode. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Hey, two mana peak. You can't complain. You're up. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll play Cobra. Pass to you. Obviously, Drew a non-creature. You know that, right? That was nice. See, you live for the moments where you do these cool synergies. I live for the moments when I get to get you in some way. So the show is fine. It's made for me so far. I mean, that's the only reason we're here. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, Rob, I've seen like some of our top 10 compilation videos and stuff. Can we get like a me and Rob troll Ross compilation <laughs> video? Like... I think it's what the people want, you know? I mean, it's literally just the Barry Wrath of God comment, and that's it, right? Yeah. That's number one. That, I mean, that's number one, yeah. You buried him. Attack for one. All right. 18 ult. Or to quote the commander versus uh, the boys, you, you got him a body bag. Drop? <laughs> yep. I was going to say, somebody uh, did ask me earlier uh, to mention Devastation died when you were making 1-1 one, one humans. Devastation tide? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. That was a wild moment, I must say. Okay, I'm going to play this, add red. Yep. And I'll play Omnom. Yep. Draw. Not the best of draws. And... So you can madness in something. Bloodhall Priest. Which one is that? Mm, the one that was bad last game, the 4-4. Oh, yeah, you could... You could 
actually bring that in. Okay, all right, I'll pass to you. Yeah. An eternal playbook. Okay. <laughs> I was like, which one could you have? But I was thinking that one needed four mana, but... Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, I'm past um, you. Oh, but that's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm... Also, Corey, how long until uh, Alchemy also includes just your name changes to cards? So just my name That just becomes Omnom. Omnom, yeah, get the Scarabian genius in there. Yeah, I don't have enough pull over at Wizards, y'all. I wish. This is one of those All odd... these cards would be shorter <laughs> name, that's for sure. <laughs> this is one of those odd games that it would have been a lot better for me to be on the draw. Just everything would have lined up better. You to play Cobra, I would have had Brutality. Yeah. Uh, and then I play the Priest, then you play the Omnath, and then I untap. And Sometimes, especially with Rakdos decks. You know, I remember back in the day, Dark Confidant Rakdos decks, uh, back at Nationals in like, you know, 07, took the draw against each other because it was just all attrition battles, you know? You don't do that too much these days, but... but uh, I do have a bit of a neat play here, so okay. I'm going to start by Fatal Pushing the Lotus Cobra. It's dead. Then I'm going to Collective Brutality with all three modes. Minus two, minus two to Omnath, drain you, and duress you. How is this killing me? Uh, then the killing? Priest is going to attack and deal two to it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm empty-handed. You'll now see I have not been drawing well. <laughs> I did draw the portable hole it's, right it's after. It's instant or sorcery. I don't get the hole. Okay, well. So it's I still, also, get, still get nothing. It's but, also useless. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, attack and do that. So you, so you get you drain two from the brutality. That makes yeah. it 16 to 20. So then the attack I'm at for 12. four. Yeah, so it's 12 to 20. Okay. After the attack. And and my hand is awful. Ugh. Great. Excellent. Okay, I'll play this and pass to you. <laughs> Lord Vell had a better idea, just uh, secret layer Corey nicknames. There we go. I like that. Uh, place your step pathway, attack you for six. Yep, down to six. And then I will activate castle, go to 19. Okay. Um, and thought's easier, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll take Genesis Ultimatum. Yeah, not casting that. So I'm at 17 after the one from castle, two from thought's easier. All right. Six and I just need turn. to turn this into a chain to the rocks, and we're good. Well, that's uh, alive. Uh, I guess, but I don't think I have anything for one mana that I yeah, can. Do, do you have any chain of the rocks in your deck? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nope. GG. Well, I guess. Is there any spell that you couldn't cast in your deck? Probably uh, I not. I don't think so. Yeah. You, you can play one of the lands, I guess. All right. All right. Yeah, I just drew another land. Okay. Uh, activate that before. <laughs> <laughs> all right. GG. GG. I was drawing a two drop, too. Yeah. All right, it's 142. You want to play a pity game or you want to just move on? Uh, let's move on. Okay. Maybe we can uh, stretch one of the others to five. Okay. I always like to leave, her, leave a little bit of a buffer. And I think we kind of figured out how this goes. If I cast more than three or four spells, <laughs> you're dead. If I don't, I'm dead. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, certainly Blood Hall Priest looked pretty good there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll give you that. I think, uh, despite the fact that Brutality missed, it did look good because it emptied my hand for priest. Yeah, yeah. Um, which was pretty cool. Um, so I, I think I think I've if I had to build the deck again, I think I would play priest, but not four of them. Um, I don't think you need that many. It but might be a topper. Yeah, like you have, yeah. you have reg register and priest, so I have eight three drops, and that's the top of the curve. Yeah, because you have things to do with your mana between blood and activating scrounger and creature lands. Yeah, so. maybe like two of those, two Chandra Torture Defiance might not be bad. You know, just yeah, that's a card that's always worked kind of good in these Rakdos decks because you have like a lot of red base removal, so you can tick up, play a scrounger, tick up, kill something, or just of course kill something when you play yeah. it. T tick um, up, yeah. activate a blood token, fiery temper, something. <laughs> Game. <laughs> Game. Yeah, oh, I gotta love that one. That makes me feel things. <laughs> yeah, I think that's nice. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for our first round. We are going to head to the second round in a, after a short five-minute break. Don't go anywhere. All right, everybody, welcome back to Versus Live. My name is Corey Ballmeister. And I'm Ross Miriam. And we got Rob in the booth. Say what's up, Rob. What's up, Rob? Rob, we'll be taking all your questions, comments, concerns, and burns. Make sure to take at Star City Games so he can get his favorite one sent over to us. We're playing some Pioneer. We're playing a little bit of crazy decks. We're having some fun with it. Uh, yeah, that brew that you had uh, in the first round, it worked out. It was pretty cool. Yeah, just uh, yep. able to apply a good amount of pressure, generate a little yep. bit of value, and uh, riding register look good in the one game I drew it. Yeah, uh, and uh, fortunately, you were uh, your drawing game three looked uh, equally as bad. Not great, yeah. but yeah, even if I just <laughs> had a chain to the rocks, I was gonna destroy you. You know, if that if that portable hole was a chain to the rocks, you were done. 
Because then Escape the Wild goes, you know, uh, so uh, maybe uh, just a card that should be something else. Because I have a lot of mountains. I don't know why I didn't want to play it in the first place. Yeah, but, but against a lot of other things that you yeah. really want the consistency that Portable Hole brings. So yeah. when you don't draw the mountain, you can still cast it on, t- on the early game. Yeah. And that's one of the things about removal spells. Like you're, you're playing them mainly for the hyper aggressive decks. Yeah. So if you have to sit there and wait around for your mountain... That's a really big problem. True. Uh, you know, so you're able, you're willing to give up a little bit of consistency, especially uh, a little bit of, of versatility. I mean, yeah, to be able to consistently cast it early, and that's especially true for a deck like you played in round one. Yeah, that has that over the top capability and really just wants to buy time. Yeah, yeah. But instead, I died because I couldn't buy time. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> irony. Uh, this round, we're going to be playing a deck of Ross's favorites uh, over the years: Mono Blue, Curious Obsession. Yeah, I've yeah. tried it many times in Pioneer. Haven't really gotten it to work, but this yeah. is a, this is a challenge deck list. Made top sixteen in a challenge. So yep. Pretty good run there. Uh, I was excited to see it, and I'm excited to see how it plays out. Exactly, and uh, yeah, we'll see if it's good. A lot of different uh, inclusions from when we've tried it again. I, f- I feel like we do try it every single set. Yeah, uh, and I agree, it's not it's not amazing, but when you're on the play, when you have Curious Obsession, your deck looks pretty good. Yeah, and it's got the spirit tribal theme, which I do like in these decks because yep. it helps you know give you a little bit more aggression, a little bit more play in the creature matchups. Yep, because you know things like Supreme Phantom can really you know boost your battlefield and let you compete in combat mm-hmm. uh, as opposed to just trying to get ahead and, and win on your normal tempo game. So I like that aspect to it. Uh, I like the snow aspect to it as well. So we'll see how it does playing against a control deck, which historically is generally pretty good for these mono blue decks. But Demir, this I thought is, this was an otter deck. Mm, it's both. Okay, it okay. can be two things. Okay, okay, uh, and then. Uh, Demir uh, control has access to a lot of cheap removal. Mm. I think the one issue that the one thing that worries me about me being a loot tree deck as opposed to a ri- typical Demir control deck is I only have one fatal push. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, <laughs> if they could just give me a little dispensation so I could just play four fatal pushes and the yeah. rest singleton, yeah. I would be really happy. But that part worries me, mm. so I'll just draw the fatal push every game. I believe it. I believe it. And, uh, and you know, hopefully Lutri does things. That would be utterly ridiculous if you drew it every single game, though. I'll tell this, you that. I literally submitted this deck, and then I oh, realized yeah. I was subjecting yeah, myself to this, and I regretted it immediately. <laughs> yeah. I knew I knew I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it? Um, well... <sighs> I can't do it. It's a one lander on the play. If we had a two lander, I would definitely keep. All right. The, the one thing that's weird to me is why everybody plays this card instead of um, instead of the one that the two mana one that is a four spike, but it's counterless. Lawfully pay four. denial. Yeah. I think it's in addition. I is think it, I, I think I played four of those. I, I thought okay. I saw that when I was looking. Like, oh, they're okay, in the sideboard. Yeah. Okay. Lofty Denial just seems like a better card to me because it always yeah. costs two. Yeah. And that's the that's the mo- more important part. And if you're cre- all your creatures fly anyway, except yeah. I guess except for Ascendant Spirit. Yeah. Um. So maybe there there is a certain consistency issue where the a couple things that help uh gaslight or it's like Geistlight Snare. Yeah. Instead of uh instead of Lofty Denial. Basically, but- I think people are just trying new things because that version wasn't good. <laughs> so you know we got to try something. Um, all right, I'll keep nothing amazing, but you're in? Yeah. Okay, I'll play this and pass yeah, to my you. Hand, my hand's perfect. Okay, okay. Excellent. Um, I will play Fetid Pools and pass it. All right, Unbeatable Sailor at end step. Uh, then I'll attack. I'm in 19. Pass to you. Um, I will play an island and pass to you. All right, own tip, a draw. Land and attack. I'll take one. Okay, past you. Um, on your end step, I will fatal push the spectral. Signal. Wow, you would. <laughs> I got the rattle chains. <laughs> I'll protect it and pass to you. I will then play consider. Okay. You would have the one <laughs> of fatal push. Uh, yeah, I think we can keep that. Okay. Oh, good old Lutri decks. I mean, I played a Singleton deck in, well, Historic that I loved. Demonic Pact, whoo, that was a fun one. Okay, I'm going to Thought Seize you. All right. Uh, so I'll go to 16. Yep. I had both of these at the end of turn two, and I wanted to try to get value out of them since I had so little. Um, and then I will Heartless Act the Spect... Kill the Rattle Change, you said? No, I'll hit the Spectral oh, Sailor okay, so you don't okay. get to draw extra cards. Dang it. And Curious Obsession. No, but uh, I will be attacking for three. I'll go 13. Pass to you. 
I'm pretty much out of control now. No mm-hmm. lands. Well, shipwreck and- Marsh and extinction event uneven. Thanks for drawing Supreme Phantom. You're welcome. You're, <laughs> you're welcome. You're, you're up. All right, Spectral Sailor. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the called shots continue, Rob. Okay, I'll power word kill the sailor. Or I'll draw a card. And then I'll buy Lutri. <laughs> okay. And pass the turn. You got an otter. Is that the first time power word kills actually kill anything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. It's power, leave things alone, kill. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go with. Hmm. Just making sure I know exactly what my cards do. I'm reading two snow based snow covered islands here, but the art's so good, I need to check them out. All right. I'm gonna play Ascendant Spirit. Yep. And then I'll pass to you. It's a lot of text on that one. Yeah, I just want to make sure it adds a flying counter. Yep. Um, I will play Drowned Catacomb. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. End step, I'll level this. Yep. Level one. Can I read Lutri? Okay. Oh, it is Flash. Okay. Um... All attack. No blocks. No effects. Go to 11. Yep. And I'll pass to you. On your end step, I will cast Hieroglyphic Illumination. Illumination? Okay. I will also cast Cling to Dust on Geist Light Snare. Geist Light Snare. So you want to draw a card? Okay. Yep. And I'd like to go to my turn. Yeah, go ahead. Get a lot of cards there. I will play Field of Ruin. Okay. And pass the turn. I'll attempt to level. Um, Get a flying counter if we have to, but just picture it has a flying counter. No, I'll uh, respond with a Baleful Mastery. Paying full retail for it? Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, not too much I can do about that. Exiles, right? Yes. And also at end step, uh, Spectral Aversail? Uh, that resolves, and then I'll disfigure it. Not cool. <laughs> not cool. You're not supposed to have two. That was my whole backup plan. All right. Wanderer, go. Um, plain island, pass the turn. Okay, nice field of ruins. All right, curious obsession. I will respond with memory deluge. Okay. None of those do anything to Mausoleum Wanderer. Leave it alone. Um... Okay. Okay. Resolves. May I attack? Sure. I'll take two. Okay. I go to nine. Nine. Yep. Draw a card. Yep. Um. Then I'll play a land and pass to you. Oh. Now I'm feeling foolish. <laughs> Why? Because of the card I took. It's okay. Now pretty bad. Okay. Okay. Um. But I will play an island. Okay. And pass the turn on your upkeep. I will Heroes Downfall the Wanderer. Rattle it. I will respond to Rattle Chains with Lutri on the Heroes Downfall. Oh, is that all that works? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I was thinking that you have to like play the spell, then copy it. But yeah, I guess you can do it while it's still on the stack, huh? Yep. Okay, yep. So it'll die to the copy, and then you have Rattle Chains. Yep. All right, that didn't work out as planned. Uh, pass to you. Just hoping to get one more hit in there. 
Um, I will attack for three. That's not good. I'll take it. 17. 17. I guess you got the field. Yeah, yeah I'll field the Faceless Haven. Okay. <clears throat> Oh thank God! <laughs> I have one basic left. I <laughs> got <laughs> so I really I wanted to. Uh, I did this specifically so I'd have seven. Yeah. Left over deluge. Uh, I don't. My hand is pretty bad, so I'm going to uh, just deluge right now. Okay. I get countered. Yep. I'm really. in trouble. Um. So even with the cling here, you got a lot of gas in the tank. Yep. Get to look at seven different cards. You got uh, options. I think taking those two makes sense. <laughs> okay, done. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. Attack. I'll go to seven. Or go. Actually, I had a land to play. Tap. You already played a land, I think, right? No. Maybe not. Okay. Then I'll and pass seven. you. <sighs> Good card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a solid one. Attack for three. Okay. 14. 14. Then I will play Liliana, the last hope. Okay. Oh, that'll probably be my last hope. Uh, yep. Plus on the rattle chains. Okay. And then I will pass the turn. Come on. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't beat the value of cling at this point. Yeah. Like I also have a drown up. Yeah. I mean, I can I can pretend to try to be yeah. in this game, but it so is GG. Off the first deluge, I yeah. knew you were going to drop to two cards. Yeah. So I took go blank instead of a Narset. Yeah. And then you just played a land, only had one card, and the go blank looked like kind of bad. Yeah. I probably still should have cast it because, it, you know, the rattle chains ended up being awkward. Yeah. But the loot tree interaction there, I thought I had that on lock um, because I, I don't know why I, I thought it was like play loot tree, and then when you cast a spell, then you get to copy. That, so if I get that's it, how things usually are templated yeah. now. Yeah. So I thought like I, I thought I, act, I was actually drawing quite well after I was hellbent. So, like, yeah, it was just a case of you were drawing better. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I drew I drew my cheap removal and yeah. You know. Yeah, what are you talking about? You got more than one fatal push. You got yeah. this figure. Yeah, got it's this just figure as good. Too, so all right, that does it for the first game. Ross takes it down. We're gonna head to the sideboard and see what we got. Don't go anywhere. All right, everybody. Welcome back to sideboarding here between Mono Blue Aggro and Demir Lutri Control. From my end, uh the main thing I wanted to get out was Shackle Geist, your control deck. So tapping your creatures is not gonna be effective. The random fading hope and brazen bar are also not great uh if you don't have a lot of permanence you're playing. And then I'm taking out one snare so I can just have a counter spell diversity and then i also am just bringing in another faithless haven you had the field of ruin there but i think for the most part it's going to be a good uh spell that i can instead of going too far into the battlefield i can just animate instead and then icon seems amazing and i'm happy i have at least two of them so yeah uh yeah. you know demir cannot deal with artifacts and enchantments too well yeah nope never has I've got an <laughs> answer to an enchantment but uh, yeah yeah yeah, I don't really have an answer to an artifact unless I want to leave in the Oshok, which I'm bringing out because it's just an expensive yeah, sorcery. Too expensive. You know, yeah. my, my goal for this matchup is to get leaner and have as much remo removal as possible. Yeah. So all my creature removal spells come in. Uh, you know, one mana interaction to break up your protection and dispel and duress. And because I'm cutting Oshok, I needed to bring in something else. I decided Notion Thief can is at least a threat I can play without holding... Uh, Without uh, tapping out, yeah, uh, and getting I was just gonna say, God, it's so random that you just have so many one ofs, but I keep <laughs> forgetting about the stupid otter. <laughs> uh, so th I think Notion Thief is just easier to resolve without giving Corey a window to establish, you know, yeah. curious obsession and things like that. Cutting expensive counter spells, interaction that isn't very effective in the matchup, and mm -hmm. the one cling to dust is just kind of a low impact card because you don't really use the graveyard. Yeah, that's a messed up card. That's uh, a messed up card. Probably uh, pretty strong in Legacy when people brainstorm, huh? It's one of the most <laughs> famous moments in the history of the SVG Tour. Really? Yeah, I, I can't remember who did it, but so somebody notion thiefed their opponent on camera in response <laughs> to a Jace activation oh, brainstorm, yeah? and Jeff Foster was the, the table spotter, and uh, he's sitting there and just starts cackling. <laughs> and you just see him, you know, off to the side, <laughs> head back, dying <laughs> laughing. Because <laughs> it was probably not played that often now, no. but like I've seen it as a one-of or a two-of yeah. index these days um you know because well blue fair decks are still always going to cast brainstorm until it's taken away but yeah yeah wild yeah don't forget they still have to put the two back too yeah you have to put the two back and <laughs> you, you discard them yeah no, uh, oh so yeah I, so the notion thieves controller draws the cards yeah and you put the two car cards from your hand back yeah yeah so now so they're just, plus three and you're minus two so it's really a five minus. card swing yeah yeah no big deal 
Uh, plus, they <laughs> now you, have the three one to attack the Jace. <laughs> yeah, and you now have brainstorm locked yourself yeah. because you're not getting out of those two cards. Yeah, that's a that's a slap. That's a slap in the face right there. Yeah, what do we got? Okay. Whenever an opponent casts an artifact, instant, or sorcery, counter that spell. This, bigger, this ability triggers only once each turn. So counter is the first spell. Uh, what was the mana cost in the... Seven. Five blue blue, five five. Yeah. And it, it, this does not have flash, correct? correct. Sorcery speed card. Okay. Um... I'm generally inclined to say it's worse than Hullbreaker Horror. Yeah, yeah that's what I was going to say. Um, though Horror got, um, it got like demoted in Alchemy, right? It now is counterable. Yeah. But I would still say Hullbreaker Horror is probably better. Like not really doing much to control the battlefield mm -hmm. as a seven drop is tough. Uh, this is the kind of card that, you know, you imagine the games where you untap with it. And if you untap with any seven mana creature, you should probably win the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, the, the one thing I do like about it is that like, if they try to kill it, you're probably killing something of theirs. Yeah. Right? Or uh, I guess it stops it with their stuff. So it's, it's hard. they need to have two removal spells yeah. to get through it. So that that part of it that it's difficult to remove is the saving grace for me that maybe it's got a shot, yeah. but I'm not optimistic. Yeah, my unburial rights uh, t tickers are going off because that seems like a crazy card to reanimate in any way, shape, or form because it's something they have to have two removal spells for, which turn five, turn six, how often are you going to do that in any format? You know, who knows about standard and alchemy if you can return them, but I mean, I know unburial rights and like historic, and I'm sure there's something we can find in Pioneer yeah. in a, to bring in, it back. In any sort of, you would, it would be a sort of like mid-range solar flare kind of shell yeah. that that would make sense in because then you untap and have a bunch of interaction and card draw that you just get to start copying. Yeah. Yeah, I could even see it just being like a Stitcher Supplier Crocs uh, style of deck you know, like that has some kind of reanimate. You know, it'd probably be have to be more than just black red. It'd be yeah. a third color, either Mardu. I would definitely or blue. want it to be blue. I wanted. Yeah. I would want to be playing things like Thirst for Meaning as my enablers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you go like turn three Thirst, turn four and burial flashback and burial rights because you yeah. discarded the creature and the rights. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah, that seems sweet. And then or you just interact up until that point. Yeah, or, uh, you know, Mizzix Mastery or something in Historic. Although, most of the time, you're just winning the game with that combo. Yeah. Um, with Genesis Ultimatum. Yeah, as, as a reanimation target, yeah. I'm, I'm more interested. Because the earlier yeah. you get it down, the the less you're worried about them immediately killing you. Yeah. Uh, because you're not as far behind. And, the you know, the harder it is for them to even have the mana to cast you removal spells yeah. to kill it. exactly. Yeah. So that could be a that could be a dangerous one coming back from the grave. I could see something like that looking like people are like, nah, too expensive, not going to be great to cast it. But if there's a, a cheap way to rem to bring it back, even in standard, uh, that could be really good. All right, so I'll go first, and I'll keep my very medium hand. I will keep as well. All right, I got an ascendant, and I'll pass to you. I will play this awkward tapped drowned catacomb. Okay, no disfigure or uh, anything for you. I'm gonna level it now so I can avoid disfigure. Now you only got one out in your deck here. 18. Pass to you. Eh, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'll, I'll play this island. <laughs> okay. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will draw and I'll play a land and I will attack for two. 16. Okay, and I'll play another Ascendant Spirit, and I'll pass to you. Uh, on your end step, I will cycle Hieroglyphic Limit. Okay, sure. Uh, go to my turn. Yep. Play a Shipwreck Marsh and pass. Okay, now I got to debate if I want to uh, try to level here, or if I just want to, like, kind of just protect. Um... The worst case scenario is if I try to level this, you have disfigure plus like power word kill. I lose everything and I, I'm in a lot of trouble. I don't know. I'm kind of just in trouble to that anyways. Um, sure you don't want to buy loot tree? It would help out my decision. <laughs> I'll let you here if you want to go back. With, in my, with my seven card hand? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Buy, buy loot tree, <laughs> go to discard? 
Yeah, you good? Yeah. You good? I'm really trying to fill my graveyard for the one I've dig through time. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. All right, I'm going to untap. Sure. Because so I am a coward. All right, I'm going to play this and I'll attack. Take three, go to 13. Yep, pass to you. In step, I will cast Opt. Okay. This, of course, is the turn where you didn't have anything. Yeah, why would I have things? Yeah. I'll keep that on top and go to my turn. Okay, sure. I will play a Fetid Pools and pass. Okay. Um. Now I'll upgrade this one. Okay, I'll disfigure in response. <laughs> I guess, can you yeah, I can activate again. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I, I'm just screwed. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Untap. Um, so you're at nine, huh? I'm at, I'm at 13. Or you'd be at nine if yeah. I attack here. Excuse me, thinking out loud. Um, and who really wants that? Yeah, thinking. Overrated. All right, I'll just attack for four. I'm a nine. Pass to you. Uh, on your end step, I'll play consider. Sure. I'll bin this island. Okay. going to be tough for me to try to level these things since it basically taps me out, but still an option available to me. Um, I will play Field of Ruin okay. and Jace Friends Prodigy. Sure. Pass the turn. All right. Um, end step. I'm going to play. Rattle chains. Sure. I'll target itself. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Spectro Phantom. Um, I figure I can put the shields down to just kind of go ham here. I will dispute the Supreme Phantom. Okay. On top? Yep. On your upkeep, I'll disfigure the round <laughs> chains. Disfigure my chain, huh? Um... Instead, I will draw, play this, and I'll attack. No blocks. Okay, just take four. I go to five. Yep, pass to you. Uh, loot with Jace. Okay. I will discard the swamp and transform. Okay. Um, play Shipwreck Marsh. Okay. You have three in hand? Three, yep. I will, uh, minus on Mystical Dispute. Um... That's scary. Uh, sure. I will cast Extinction Event. Uh, I'll attempt to counter it. I will dispute your Geist Light Snare. I'll dispute that. I will dispel your Geist Light Snare. No! <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have another counter. Only mod. All right. <laughs> Oh, lame. Pass the turn. I've been setting that up for a while. Yeah. Well, he has I'll, play the, this, I'll play this at end step. Has that. So my Jace is, is gone. Yeah, I think that's the only choice I have. We'll kill the Jace and I'll pass to you. Lame. I thought I I thought I danced that out nicely, but you you danced better. Yep. Um, that's gross. That's a little awkward. Um I 
Mm. Yeah, that was a that was a nice sequence. Yeah, I I mm. could have gone for it with just one counter spell on turn five, but it just yeah. seemed like you had two, and I had yeah. you know I was very much on the protect those two until the end of the game plan. Yeah. As my hand was good, you know, stopping at five, not bad. You'd kind of rather stop at four, but close enough. Um, Maybe I was a little too aggressive with this Rattle Chain Supreme Phantom line. I'm at five. I'm going to play Clearwater Pathway. Okay. And cast Dig Through Time. Wow. Okay. That's not great um, for me. Um. So, uh, Exile Six. Okay. I get two of them. Nah, only one. They changed it. If it's all one ofs, you only get one. <laughs> it's to fit the theme. I kind of like these two, to be honest. Okay. Um, though I could also take the. It's. I'm definitely taking this one. And then the question is, which of the two sort of card advantage cards I want to take? Uh, and because I have this, I think I would also like uh, like a threat. So. Okay, don't like that. If you're getting threats. I will then um, play a Blood Chief Thirst on the adversary. I'll change it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the chain. That's incredible. Yep. Um, Counterspell on legs. Oh, I guess it flies, so no legs there, but you know what I mean. Wow. We needed a good draw last turn, and we delivered. Um, I hope that threat isn't like Kalidas or something. I will pass the turn. Upkeep. No, you're good. Hmm. And lethal curious obsession. Huh? Lethal icon. <laughs> Yep. I'll name spirits. Yep. It's three tap. Yeah. So you don't immediately get something. Yeah. The threat was a shark typhoon. So okay, I'll make a 2 2 okay. shark. That's pretty good. And I will trade for the rattle chains, I guess. Take, Take three, go, three, to three go to two. Okay. I don't feel great about that. Pass to you. I feel like I've had to draw really well to just be in these games. <laughs> oh. I was I was hoping to be able to play this last turn, but then when you had the the rattle chains, I had to hold up the shark. Yep, yep. I have drawn Narset. Okay. Which hopefully, we'll find a removal spell because otherwise, I'm dead. All right. <laughs> this figure's gone. No push. I will reveal drown in the lock. <laughs> oh no! Uh, what it? Oh, you got nothing here. <laughs> so I'll drown the adversary. It's dead. Play Hall of the Storm Giants. Play Search. Oh God. And pass the turn. <laughs> I do have seven cards, so even if I like the card on top, I'll still be able to transform. Yeah. I have a field for a haven. The top three. We can get a spirit. All right. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Brick. But I did hit a spirit, so I'll pass to you. Lethal okay. attacker. Upkeep. Yeah. You have like one billion looks at a removal spell. Well, though. I'll leave this one on top. That's a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad start. That's uh, minus Narset. Yeah, sure. Have fun. Uh, find a fatal push. Yeah, you diabolic tutor again, and congratulations. Um, I will then play. Liliana the Last Hope. Okay. I exiled my Jace to the Dig Through Time because I forgot Liliana existed. <laughs> Good That's job. Awkward, so I think you'll be all right. Plus on Supreme Phantom, so it can't do anything. I'm, yep. I am actually one short of being able to buy Lutri and activate Ascanta. Definitely going to value the Ascanta activation. Okay. Um, though maybe I shouldn't. Uh, I will, though. All right. Um, well, not great. I will activate. Come on! <laughs> Go! <laughs> and step, I will activate. Yeah, sure. Uh, can I take this one? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll take Heartless Act, I guess. Okay. Um, turn 
Through land, I'll okay. plus on the Supreme Phantom. Okay. Now I can buy the Lutri. Okay. And pass the turn. All right, I'll untap, I'll draw. Okay, well. I think my plan might be to win with the Liliana Emblem. <laughs> yeah. While just holding up as much as I can the entire time. Bad. Uh, activate. Wow, we hit. We hit. Uh, I don't even know if that's what I want to cast, though, because this awkward has awkward in the face two. of Lutri. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Lutri can just double counter, huh? Yikes! 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 Well, I'll play this bad creature then, and I'll pass to you. Um. On your, I think I still just want to activate as Kanta here. Okay. So there's some value in just killing both your things and uh, getting starting to attack with Lutri. Yeah. I could even uh, start. I actually could attack with Lutri and Hall and just yikes. And, and, <laughs> hold, and hold up a removal spell in case you have spe uh, Spectral Sailor. Sure. That seems pretty good. That just ends the game. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. I kind of like that. So I will. Uh, I think all your creatures are fatal pushable, right? Oh, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, no. Okay. But the Mausoleum Wanderer is a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. So I actually do have to fatal push here. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but that still leaves me enough mana to activate Hall and Heartless Act. Yep. Uh, and if I draw land, I can even Ascanta too. So I will fatal push the Supreme Phantom. Okay. And... Uh, then cast Lutri. Okay. Lutri resolves. I'm guessing you want to Cop target yeah. Fatal Push. Target Fatal Push. Okay. So, copy resolves. You can make a target. I will target Mausoleum Wanderer. All right. I'm going to play Spectral Sailor. Pump this. Counter the one targeting Supreme Verdict. Unless you pay for it. That is pretty good. Yep. I was hoping you, I could somehow sneak that in and uh, get you, but instead I'll pass. Because I kind of like the you go aggressive line, because uh, it's like the only chance I could win too. I, I think it would favor you, but if I top deck a bunch of spirits, who knows, you know? Um. Oh my god. <laughs> That's <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not excited. <laughs> Liliana's triumph you with a Liliana. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what it does. You, you have to discard a card. No! <laughs> and sack a creature. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll sack this. Uh, yeah, so th this is currently a 2-2, two -two, so yeah. I'll, I'll plus Liliana on it. Yeah. Uh, and then animate the hall and attack you for 10. Okay, I'll take it. Put so you're at ten and I'm at two. Yep. And that thing's currently a zero one. Yeah. Great. Pass the turn. Excellent. Excellent. Activate. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> and now I just have the heartless act for the, yeah, the special yeah. sailor. And I really thought there was a sequence there that I could get you. That would have been good too. Hallbreaker <laughs> horror. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Doesn't matter if that one's not counterable in this game. Uh, I was not going to uh, be doing anything so the, about there's it. There's a card that you haven't really drawn a lot. Yeah. It's called uh, Curious Obsession. <laughs> yeah, you should to be try, fair, try you killed it. every single one of my creatures. So. But, the, but especially in that game, there was a million turns where I, like, as yeah. soon as you, once that Ascendant Spirit was a 2 3, and yeah. you just had turn 3 Obsession hold up a 2 mana counter spell. Like, Game's I, I, over. I, yeah. yeah. I did not. Well, we got some time here. We'll stretch it, but I have to win the next three to uh, truly stretch this one. I think this will just be a one pity game, and then we'll. Yeah, um, more than likely. More than likely. All right. Yeah, I guess I do like that last deck. That last deck is the one that I actually think is uh, pretty good my, my, and uh, a favorite of mine. As much as I like the first two decks I've played, yeah. my last deck is also the one I like the most. Nice. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can stretch that it one. Is, that sounds good. It just looks awesome. Excellent. If it does the things it's capable of doing, it's going to be the clip of the day. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's all of our decks so <laughs> yeah. far. It's like, if they do the thing that's kind of hard to get done, then they're going to be awesome.
All right, Rob, you got any questions for us? Uh, yeah, so um, we had a question. Uh, can you speak to where the different control decks sit in the Pioneer meta? I don't like them, personally, but what about you? Oh, well, they're a little bit different. There, there's really two control decks. There's, there's Azorius and Demir. Yeah. And agreed. Demir is, ve- is much more of a draw, go, hold up all my mana on your turn and react to what you're doing. Yeah. And they got effective, good removal in Demir. Like, that's the one thing that I like. Yes. But the thing is, like, even cards like Azekas Chariot are, like, tr- very much trouble for them. Um, you know, even Arclight Phoenixes, I guess they can exile them, but still... Their removal spells just don't line up with things all the time. Against Rakdos, there's a lot of things you can bring back. Um, and then Azuria's Control just has a lot more Planeswalkers and stuff, but really bad removal. Yeah, yeah. The, so the the problem is uh, Azorius's removal lets you deal with anything, Yeah. Uh, but is pretty, uh, is pretty vulnerable to letting you fall behind. A lot yeah. of it's kind of more expensive, or Portable Hole doesn't hit everything. Yeah. Um, and so that that's the problem. You're weaker against the aggressive deck, since you really have to rely mm. on Supreme Verdict. Yeah, Supreme Verdict is the best Wrath, too. So yeah. they get that, which is good. Um, but. but they're really kind of reliant on it against the aggressive yeah. decks. And the aggressive decks are pretty good at playing against su- uh, Supreme Verdict. Like, all yeah. the red decks have tons of a ton of burn and haste. Yeah. So y- yep. you can really just set up a turn where you need Supreme Verdict, or I'm going to kill you with my battlefield. And even if you do Verdict, I have a good follow-up. Yeah, you have a plan. So they all, yeah. yeah, they all have a plan against that. Demir has a lot of good cheap removal, headlined by Fatal Push, um, but its issue is that it's really reliant on its counter spells landing against higher end threats. Yeah, and if certain threats, like you said, resolve, they just can't answer them. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Azika's Chariot really be, be headlining there. Yeah, honestly, if, if I were going to try to build a control deck in. Um, in Pioneer right now, I think I would try to try to build Esper. I think yeah, the mana base is there say, for it. Yeah. Get the cheap black removal, play your play some Supreme Verdicts, and play Teferi's at the high end, yeah. and get the best of both worlds. I like that, because there's clear weaknesses for both control decks, and it's yeah. solved by just doing it. The mana is great. Well, you know? maybe the problem is you don't have an Esper Triumph. And you'd really want, want an Esper Triumph, but there's a That's lot true. like between Pathways and uh, the new new sets of dual lands are quite good in control, mm-hmm. and just shock lands and check lands. Um, are, are the new the new dual lands have no? They don't have types. Oh, there could be some world that even Jeskai would work too. You get Clarion for lower stuff, and then you just have one mana red removal for Fatal Push S stuff. Yeah. but that can still be a bit of a liability against like Omnath or something. But Black also gets an edge with all the discard in the control mirrors. Go blank. Yeah. Like I actually really like the the way Black is, helps you there. So yeah. I, I would try to make an Esper deck work, and I, I do believe there was one in the in one of the challenges over the weekend. Okay, that in the like nineteenth ish place. Yeah, that, in, that list looked interesting to me. And I'm sure you can check out that article from Shaheen Sarani. I'm sure there's an Esper deck for every <laughs> format that you can Google and check out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go to him. So, yeah, the, my issue, you know, I think we, we're on the same page there. The, the yeah. removal suites and the, the two color archetypes are both lacking and it's possible the mana is lacking if you go three colors, yeah. but that's what I would try. And it's also possible that control is just not good right now. Like, it's completely reasonable for control to ebb and flow being good in formats. And then when it's the best deck, those formats suck. You know, like, when control is the best, we've we've seen it before, and it's, uh, it's no fun. But right now, I think we're in the product of... There's so many decks in Pioneer that it's impossible to plan uh, how to deal with everything. You have to pick the things. And when you're playing a Pioneer Challenger, you're playing a Pioneer League, you're going to play against... In a league, four different decks, probably. In a challenge, probably on average, in an eight-round tournament, six different decks, maybe five, you know? And uh, that just spells bad news for control. When control is awesome, it's when there's, like, you know, three decks that are dominating a format, and that's kind of all you play, and you build a control deck to beat those, yep. you know? And I don't think we're there right now. And if you look at yeah. the spread of decks in Pioneer, not only are there a lot of different archetypes, that, that spread covers all the different types of strategies. There's combo, yeah. there's aggro, there's mid-range, yeah. there's other control decks you have to worry about. There's mm-hmm. also, you know, treasure cruises in a lot of decks now. Yep. Uh, yep. That's a tough card for control yep. historically, and a lot of haste threats in the aggro decks, as we yeah. mentioned. Like, all of those things are bad. Fires of invention for the Demir side. You know, the white side can deal with it a little bit, but, like, if you don't counter that, like, you gain a huge advantage and stuff, too. Like, yeah, it, it's kind of bad news, Bears. Yeah. All right, so let's play one more. We'll see if I smash you real quick or we'll just move on. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to try it. I don't know how great it is, but... I'll keep. All right, I got to wander, and I'll pass to you. I will play a Shipwreck Marsh. Okay. 
Let's go. <laughs> now, even if it dies, at least it replaced itself. Uh, uh, so take three. Yep, it's 17. And I'll pass to you. And if it doesn't die, you're dead. Well, Chief Thirst. <laughs> Counter. <laughs> I will not pay the one. Okay. Pass the turn. Dang it. <laughs> we tried. We fought the good fight. Okay, I'll play a Faithless Haven and I'll pass to you. Okay. End step, cycle, hieroglyphic illumination. Okay. And then I'll play Field of Ruin and pass the turn. Of course you would. I'll play a Spectra Offer, sir. Um, that is fine. All right. Um, hold on. I am going to fatal push the adversary. Stop drawing that. <laughs> <laughs> you literally have drawn it now just 100% of the time. I was very scared of rattle chains there. Yeah, that's fair. Supreme Verdict? All right, Supreme, Supreme Phantom. Phantom. Sure. Past you. And the one field of ruin. Are you kidding me? There's two field of ruins. What? You're allowed to play multiple copies of Lance. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, that makes me feel better. Okay. I was like, I thought you have to have one of those. Uh, I will play an Admittedly, island. I haven't read Lutri. I'm going to Field of Ruin now on this Haven. Okay. And I'll get a Swamp. All right, I'll get a Faithless Haven. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will... Oh, this was probably a mistake. <laughs> um, maybe not. You have how many cards in hand? Three. And they're not great. <laughs> I will Thought Seize you. Um. Okay, the jig is up. <laughs> yeah, off to the Nile and an island. I go yep. to fifteen. Yep. Then I'll pass the turn. There you go. That's my whole plan: is get some lawfully denials. That was supposed to be curious obsession. It was not. I'll go to fourteen. Pass to you. Also, we did have a question in chat. Given the field of run you just used with the new Besage, do you feel like that might go a little off the rails with Renin Six and Modern? Ooh. Uh, that could be interesting. It, it Maybe the other ones. We don't know what they all do yet. It is yeah. a cool one of the round six. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I'll play okay, a Blast Zone. Okay. Yeah, that could be that could be real. All right. Blast Zone. Yep. Um, I'll attack. And I'll cycle er, Shark Typhoon. Oh, come on. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm still going to attack, but there's no reason I wouldn't play this first. I just, uh, before I before I drew. Yeah. Yeah, but whatever. You ate it. You uh, ate it. No, no. You, you, you went to play it. Okay. Um, I'm still gonna make a three three and block. Yeah, yeah. Don't have a counter spell for that. And it's a two four. Yep. Yeah, I just uh, went to attack right before I even looked at this, but yeah, then I'll pass to you. Um, that card is annoying. Yep. It's interesting. Yeah, whatever. I attacked. You blocked. No, no. It's you have a two fine. Four. Okay. You definitely would have. You you pull. <coughs> um, I will attack for three. Okay, seventeen, and then play Kalitas. Kalitas, huh? Um, well, I suppose I have to counter that, huh? Um, I guess. Can you deal with my flyer for one mana? Well, then you can't pay for it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, counter it. Okay, dispel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course, of course. <laughs> That's the turn. All right, all right. <laughs> I see. I'm just dead. So I can do this at instant speed. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I'll attack. I go to one. Or take one, go to 13. Or you take two, right? Oh, two, yeah. Yeah, there So you I'm go. at 12. Past you. So we got 12 to 17. Yep. Yeah, I'm on the beatdown plan now. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, attack you for six. Sure. You go to 11, I go to 15. Yep. Uh, I will play a Jace of Rin's Prodigy. Yeah, why not? Have all the fun you want. And then I will pass the turn. Um, activate. Sure. Rattle chains. I'll try to play it. I will dispute it. Okay. I will then take this opportunity to power work. Why not? The creature and Why get a zombie. Not? <laughs> I'm very <laughs> dead. <laughs> not Don't even. Worry, close. I had more beatdowns coming. <laughs> <laughs> the notion of that card even coming into play is uh, enough to concede. You know. Yeah, just pure thievery. All right. Well, we're getting beat down here over on the Corey side. Uh, this deck once again, not it. 
Yeah, not the Marvel a, deck just doesn't look particularly good. This is no. a matchup that I thought it'd be able to contend in pretty well. Yeah. Um, but there's just enough cheap removal around, even with all one ofs. You know, post yeah. I still have, I had my four one mana yeah. removal spells. Yeah. Raven, Feebleman, Disfigure, yeah. Fatal Push, and Blood Chief's Thirst. That is the thing about Loot Tree and one of decks these days is just the power level of all the cards are just so good that it's yeah. like if you have to play slightly worse cards it's still fine of yeah. course you want four fatal push and maybe you'd want six or seven total removal spells but like yeah that's just totally yeah. fine but there are certain cards you want you know more of you want more thought teases you want more narsets yeah. you want more dig through times yeah right yeah. Uh, so those are the real ones that you're sacrificing, but you get to have fun with Lutri. And Lutri is pretty good in the games we played. Like you know, yeah. goes along, it's it's worth something. I mean the the clone game with Rattle Chains. I know that's not going to be what comes up a lot. Just in general, this matchup has probably not been played in <laughs> Pioneer. You know, it, in the last three months or whatever. Uh, just because they're both two pretty random decks. But uh, yeah, it was a blowout there, and I'm sure there's plenty of other circumstances where that is good. And just the, you know, buy it on turn three, on turn four, one mana removal plus loot tree to catch you back up is awesome, even if you if you yeah. don't have like an extinction event or something, you know? It, you know, again, it's most aggro decks too. The loot tree is probably trading on the ground for something. Yeah. So you're really getting three creatures out of the removal spell, the copy, and the loot tree. You're getting two creatures out of the loot tree itself. Yeah. Uh, and so even though you've spent six mana for it, you know, it's just, it came for free. Yep, absolutely. All right, that looked pretty sweet. Ross is going to win these marbles today. Dang it, you're taking the countdown. One nothing. One nothing. Magic Dang number it. is four. Uh, no, well, it's five. Uh, yeah, but I already have one. So my magic oh, number is four, yeah. yours is five. I need to get five. Okay, good, good, good. I mean, even though they're technically your marbles, I still want them. I'll put them in my stream room <laughs> with a rest in peace sign that shows a picture of you so or really something. Send me a picture of them every morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was going to say, are we going to get the reverse sweep? Is that what's going to happen here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a trophy mantle over there. I can just put it right next to the invitational trophy. It's like, it's that's, worth even more. that's the most recent one. Yeah. yeah and, and you can put it like right next to a, a, pic a picture of like Jamal murray and uh, <laughs> uh what i can't even think of his name i'm feeling real dumb right now Nikola Jokic. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and Terrence Mann. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was going to put it next to a picture, a printout picture of uh, Ross right after he lost to Patrick. Uh, yeah. In, uh, uh, in the printout of board. Price of Progress and Reclamation Sage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, That's a lot, there's a lot of options. There's some ideas going <laughs> yeah. here. Usually it's about new Kamigawa cards, but you know <laughs> what? Now it's how to troll Ross after versus live. <laughs> I should make a docu-series about that. All right. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to have probably a best of five for our third match. Uh, it should be an exciting one. Well, what's the deck that you're going to be playing? We'll, we'll let them know. Is, is it Pyromancer's Goggles? Really? Ooh. With unexpected Windfall. Oh, baby. <laughs> I love Goggles, and I love Windfall. I'm going to be playing just something a little more boring, I guess, and that is four-color uh, Luka Fires. You know, I think this this deck either top-aided it, the Pioneer Showcase. So, like, this top aided one of the big ones. And, uh, you know, I made a YouTube video about it, and I was really impressed. Even though a lot of the matchups, like, when I, I just kept saying to myself when I was starting each one of these matches, like, ooh, this doesn't seem good. This doesn't seem good. This doesn't seem good. And then it plays out a little bit better. I made some changes uh, with some cards that I think are criminally underplayed, including Detention Sphere. So, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with more Versus Live. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back to Versus Live. I'm Ross Merriam. And I'm Yorian Ballmeister. And we've got Rob in the booth. Say what's up, Rob. What's up, Rob? Rob will be taking all of your questions, comments, concerns, and burns in the chat. Make sure to tag at Star City Games so he can see them and send his favorites over to us. We are playing Wacky Decks and Pioneer, trying to show off the more fun side of this format that is starting to see a lot of renewed interest in the last month or two. And uh, I agree. The format is great. Yeah, it's awesome. I've been having a blast playing it, like getting ready for uh, this Mana Trader series that's going to be this weekend. It's going to be a good test of the spikes and see like what what is the cream, right? Because yep. like all the leagues and challenges now, people are coming into the format based on mostly nostalgia and like uh, FOMO, basically fear of missing out because so many people have been talking about it. So, you know, people are just checking it out. That's going to change once there's a big event with some actual good cash prizes. So we'll see what dominates. And you best believe next week we're gonna we're gonna try to play some of those decks that that had a successful weekend. Yeah. Um. Because yeah, I've I've been having a blast. There's a lot of things you can do. I've been having mild success with a lot of different decks, but I haven't had over the top success with anything. And that's 
great. You know, yeah. it, some people look at it, you know, like even even our own Peter, <laughs> uh, Peter Ingram, he's frustrated. He's like, I, I don't know what to play our pioneer seat for um, Indy. He's like, I don't know what to play. Every deck sucks. And it's like, nice. Those formats are sweet because then you can find some diamond in the rough. And he's not saying sucks as in like, you know, they're not fun to play. They're just all pretty level. You know, yeah. so it's it's nothing just shining, gleaming yeah. moment. It, it can be frustrating for those of us who are really just looking for an edge, trying to play at a big tournament. You're, yeah. you're always most excited when you think you have a great deck and yeah. the metagame's not really prepared for you and you're just going to, you know, win a lots of easy matches over the yeah. course of the weekend. But as far as what's best for the whole, it's going to be this kind of level metagame that we're seeing. And I think we're going to start seeing some innovation, you yeah. know, uh, Same. whether Same. it's new archetypes emerging or different builds, better builds, uh, evolutions yeah. on current archetypes. That's what I'm excited to see what comes out of the, the Mana Traders event this weekend, and yeah. yeah, we'll definitely be analyzing that and uh, keeping a close watch for next week's shows. It's gonna be fun. So the deck I am playing is a deck that I do think, you know, is knocking on Tier 1's door. Um, I don't know if it's for sure good. It's the Transmogrify Fires Luka um, Agent of Treachery style deck. Um, now, I've always been a big proponent of the transmogrify stuff i think is overrated but i think the format is so fast right now that it, it's an it's needed five mana is too much you need the your fire's turn to really be impactful uh, and we still have turn five for the yorian turn so turn four can be that transmogrify turn five can still just be completely obscene with this yeah, deck just buy yorian yeah. cast play yorian, something well ca play, play buy yorian some play something cast yorian use two mana to play something else yeah that still can be an easy turn five play and if you turn four transmogrified you're stealing another permanent in that aspect too and your opponent's dead you're gonna have like 12 permanents your opponent's gonna have three or four that's yeah. game you know but yeah, you can even steal, if you steal land the first time, then you can play a three-mana spell after the Yorian. Yep, and I think the big uh, adjust, I, I, I adjusted this deck from the Pioneer Challenge, changed a few cards. The main thing, Detention Spear in the main, I just think that's a good card. That one's untested for me, and then added some red cap melees to the board to be able to fight Winota and stuff like that. Yeah. Other hyper-aggressive decks. Also going to be yeah. good against Boris Heroic. Yep. Mono Red is pretty popular right now. Yep. Red cap melee seems like an excellent cyborg card. Exactly, yep. And we played Chain, you know, played Chain to the rocks instead of portable hole because i play all the triomes and stuff so uh yeah I, I really like the list honestly like you could even bring that in against phoenix and like kill thing in the ices and yeah and oh yeah because most of the time my lands are useless you yeah. know if i go turn four fires do something and uh you know next turn i have to go play something that costs five and then red cap melee sack of land cool whatever you know but yeah, and, uh, and you're playing yeah the goggles. I'm, I'm right? playing. Is it Pyromancer's goggles? This was a list from a recent challenge, uh, and so I was really excited when I saw it. Uh, Pyromancer's goggles is a, a card I have some experience with. You know when it's a uh, sweet one. Yeah, when Shadows Over Innistrad was released. Yeah, uh, we uh, uh, it was Jerry's initial idea, and Todd ran with it. Todd Anderson and built an Is It control deck with Pyromancer's goggles. That was super fun. I ended up playing it at that Invitational, doing quite well. I went 6-2. and two. Nice. I, I lost to Todd in the mirror in round one. Wow. And then went 6-1 in the rest <laughs> of the way in that format. Um, and it, it just did super over-the-top busted stuff. Yeah. You know, once you untapped with the goggles, we were playing things like, um, I can't remember, uh, what was the card? Fall of the Titan. It had um, whatever that mechanic was where it had a... Uh, Surge, yeah. So if it was your, it had a different cost. I thought was, Surge got discontinued. Wasn't it like too sugary or <laughs> too much caffeine? Too much caffeine, yeah. <laughs> this uh, there's a mechanic where the card had a different cost if you had, if it was your second spell for the turn. Oh yeah. And in this case, instead of costing XX red, it cost X and a red, and yeah. you deal X to two different targets. But then you would copy it, so you deal X to four different targets. Okay, okay, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And you had like you know tormenting voice. You would just copy it, draw four cards. Yep. I well, I remember I wasn't playing a lot of Magic at this at this time like uh, it was when i was going to school uh yeah. in fargo um north dakota and i remember staying up with bill lease the person who got my brother into magic and watched his top eight match against i think it was finkel um yeah. he ended up building a gruel version yeah a gruel version well of goggles it. and and they did quite well with it that's the experience i had with goggles but i remember being hyped so it was either his first or second pro tour top eight so it was yeah. kind of a big deal but it was about yeah, the, yeah. so goggles super fun card here we're yeah. copying unexpected windfall you know people have been doing that with galvanic iteration and standard you understand how powerful that people is people have been i yeah, have i've been doing that for a long just time you. yeah and then the, the big finisher instead of fall of titan is fight with fire a much better cheap <laughs> spell in the early game 
but if you kick it and copy it, it's just 20 damage. Yeah. So really clean, just upstairs, let's go. Fun little story uh, real quick about Fight with Fire. Me and Brian Braun doing when we were testing together for the very last Pro Tour that was in Cleveland, I think. Uh, we were really trying to make Fight with Fire. Is it control style decks like is it Phoenix was kind of a thing at that point. We were trying to go big in control. We spent like six days on that and then eventually got off it to play Go Garbage. But yeah, <laughs> good times. You good? Yeah. All right, I'll keep. My hand is fine. Nothing special. Same. I'll lead on a tap steam events. Okay. The one thing I do love about this mana base is it's really good for four colors. I'll pass to you. Okay. I will play a Vessel of Volatility. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. I will Omen. Uh, scry two planes not ideal there the planes are you want to keep those in the deck for birth of Malitis. you know speaking of a four color mana base do you feel like one of the strengths of pioneer is its lack of fetches yes that's the strength then as far as people enjoying it for sure yeah uh, I, I also think it makes the metagame more interesting yeah agreed H harder to play multiple colors building your deck is is yeah. a a bigger puzzle yeah like which lands do you want to use how, you know how to balance them, them all correctly the, the different the the combination of no fetches and no bobbles to me is what leads to not homogenizing the format you know Luris is good in pioneer but it is not busted yeah you know it is just a fine card the restriction is actually kind of real with it um but in modern it's just completely obscene of course you know but um yeah i'll pass to you I will play Storm Carved Coast. Okay. Pass back. So yeah, you sacrifice it. You, it nets you two, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. End step. I'll make a 1-1 one, one shark. Shirk. Shirk, 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 shirk. Draw. Untap. A draw. Okay. I will play a land. Attack for one. 19. Then I'm going to try to play a Fires of Invention. I will negate that. Hmm. That's not cool. I didn't know you played counter spells. That's not fun. I right, literally told you before we started. Wow. Well, yeah, I like I'll listen. <laughs> uh, I will play a mountain and another vessel of volatility. Oh boy. Pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. I'll draw. I'll attack. 18. Okay. Um, I'll play a land and I'll attempt to transmogrify this. And we'll flame blast bolt your shark token. You're a jerk. Okay, I'll pass to you. Well, my whole awesome draw was not that awesome, I guess. Oh, well, fortunately for you, my draw is also not very awesome. <laughs> okay. To be to be fair, you can just blame Ross for being a jerk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I will. And I will. Especially with uh, you know nine shows left, I got to get my blame Ross equity up. Uh, I'll play River Glide Pathway. Okay. And I will pass the turn. All right. A draw. That's a decent one, I guess. Not the best here. I'm going to go with Raven's Warning. So you get a 1-1. One, one, gain token, life. Gain yeah. life. If it connects, you draw a card. And then chapter three, pick you a card from my outside and put it on top. Yeah, that resolves. All right. Um, gain two. 1-1 one, one bird. Gain two. 22. A and I'll pass to you. I like you doing nothing. What are you at? Just 18 or? Uh, yeah, 18 okay. to 22. Okay. Uh, play another River Glide Pathway. Okay. And pass the turn. More like a pathway with what you're doing. Draw, chapter two, attack. I will flame bless bolt your bird. Okay. Rude, rude. Um, I'll attempt to play another one. Yeah, you go to 24. 24, get a bird, pass to you. Raven warning warning is the awesome part about it is like you get to take a check when you have transmogrify like attack like you want to give me a card so you kind of get the information if they have it or not obviously I use that maybe too early or whatever but I didn't have any other play um, uh oh I'm gonna make four red and play a goggles okay and then pass that's not good okay I will draw. Um, chapter three, chapter two. So I'm going to put a card from my outside. I think I want this one. Now we're going to put this one here. Yeah, I don't have to reveal it. Okay. Um, all right, then I'll attack. I will right, we'll go to 17. 17, draw a card. Yep. And 
Yeah, I don't think I have much of a choice. I'll try to play Luca. I will negate. Okay. Negated Luca. Then I'll play this and pass to you. Okay, this is the turn I need to draw something. No something for you, please. I would like to draw Fight with Fire, please. <laughs> Am I just dead? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of want to see it, too. This is nine mana. <laughs> I kind of want to see it, too. Isn't it ten? I thought it was ten mana. Mm, uh, it's nine with nine with kicker. Oh, okay, but even okay. if it's ten, we're good. Okay, okay. I will play a mountain. Okay. And pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> a draw, chapter three. Yep. Okay. I don't have another Luca. That may be a flaw, but this doesn't come up that often. Uh, well, you're not drawing it this turn anyway. I might be able to. Um, I would have taken a... Uh, what's the card? Huh. Makes all the treasures and draws cards. Yeah, unexpected windfall. Yeah, I would have taken one of those too. I believe it. Um... So now just a question of what I want to cast or what I want, like how to best set up to recover from the goggles. Um, instant. I have an Emmer cool, so I'm doing some math. One, two, uh, three. Uh, yeah, it's only three. <laughs> I just have 9,000 enchantments. <laughs> yeah. So that still costs 10. I'm a ways away from that. This is, um, this is a lot of enchantments to have in your graveyard. Yeah, it really is. I could just kind of get something like this. Um. All right, I'm going to put this on top. Now I'll attack. I go to 16. Yeah. And I'm gonna. Well, I guess it wouldn't, you're at 24, so it's not. It wouldn't actually be. Lethal. Oh yeah, that's Why right. I was like hoping for five. I, I mean, it's usually I'm at less than that. Detention sphere. Yeah. I'll take the goggles. And now I could buy Yorin if I want. If I want to be boring, and I guess I will. Pass to you. Now the cute thing is, if you top deck goggles, I have a nice answer for it with Yorin. <laughs> And I mean, once again, Yorian with uh, enchantments is very good, that exile, because there's some tricky stuff you can do. All right, I'll attack. 15. Okay. Now I will just pass to you. That's a good one. I'll play Expressive Iteration. Mm, that is a pretty good one. Um, I'll, I'll Dovin's Veto it card I put on top. Pass turn. All right, 2-2 two, two shark. Yep. Also a good card with goggles. Yeah, a great one. All right, draw off that. On tap. A draw. I'll attack for three. I'm at 12. Okay. Then I will play Zabuth of Melitis. Yep. Work for you. All right. Get some self plane. Sets up his yeah, Yorian. Not even going to shuffle because this probably... Unfortunately plays into my force spike. No! <laughs> not cool i guess i'll shuffle now yeah. pass to you <laughs> dang it i am still not in good shape uh, i will play another land and yeah. pass the turn yeah that was the pull ahead play because i used my shark early because i figured i was gonna have some cool play that was not a bad draw though oh four wall I haven't put one of these in play in a while hello friend i've missed you i'll attack for three i'm at nine okay I think I'm going to do this now because I have a lot of good sorcery draws. Omen? Yep. Oh, Scry. Those two lands are unneeded. Oh, boink. Ooh, excellent. Excellently bad. Okay, I'll play this and I will pass to you. Anger of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the clock <laughs> has started over. Unfortunately, you still have a wall to target with yeah. a transmogrify. I wonder yeah. if I was supposed to save that. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Okay, I'm going to get whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think you would have transmogrified if you had one by now. Believe it or not, my hand uh, has four non-lands, and none of them are playable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, end step. I will scry two. Yep. One top, one bottom. Oh, that's not good. Yep, not 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 the best for you. It's not the worst though. I'm gonna gain that. another two life. Twenty six. Yep, I'm so out of fight with fire double range. All right, twenty six. Um, let's go with a Narset. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Pretty All good right. against unexpected windfall. Not bad, not bad. Uh, yeah, ha- hasn't been a problem that the deck has had to uh, face, you know, but okay, I'm going to take Raven's Warning. A card that has been truly impressing me. I will play it. Yep, go to 28. Yep, I'll get a bird. Yeah, I, you didn't think life gain was going to be the bane of this deck, did you? Then I'll pass to you. Hall of Storm Giants. Okay. You're up. That's a plan. Not a good one, but <laughs> it's a plan. All right, draw chapter two. Yep. I'll activate first. Interesting. Yeah, maybe that's wrong. I would think you would... The, the, the Narset activation involves a decision. The bird doesn't. You just draw a random card. That's true, but it was going to be a land, so hindsight. <laughs> I generally like to do <laughs> things that requ- don't require decisions before things that do. Yeah. Oh, maybe you're right. Uh, so I'm at eight now. Yep. All right, I got another Raven's yeah, Warning. Fourth one, up to 30. <laughs> 30. We got one here. Um, then I'll play this tapped and pass to you. Um, I don't like you counting. I'll sack this. Okay. Four red. Okay. Play Goldspan Dragon. Okay. And I'll play River Glide Pathway and Animate Hall. <laughs> okay. And you've done it. Congratulations. You're 30. <laughs> At this point, the way I've played it, then I'm just wondering if I want to attack Narset or you. Oh, I forgot. I get to peek at your hand, too, for chapter two, but whatever. Oh, sure. Yeah. I had lands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very obvious lands. Yeah. Whenever one or more. Okay. So they don't stack in, in a good way, unfortunately. I am technically winning this race, but I can't imagine actually winning it when you get to wish two more times. <laughs> so I guess I'll attack the Narset and get a treasure. Um, for With both? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, protecting Narset is okay. Yeah, whatever. I'll protect it. Yep. Pass the turn. Okay. Because all I need is that one token. Draw chapter chapter. Um, I'll yeah. get something. Well, uh, shout out to Aspiring Spike for the big raid we just got. Oh, oh Spike, sick. what's up? We both love you. Um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You came just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen, yeah. fourteen. Corey is currently oh, yeah. wishing with the Ravens of warning. Oh here. yeah, I'll even put this one face up here. So yeah, I'll, attack. I'll attack. I go to seven. Draw. Um, I guess I shouldn't cast fires first. That might not be the smartest. Yeah. Um, so I'll play Emmercool. It costs some um, combination of this mana. I know I have some extra, but it doesn't matter. Enchantment, land, creature, instant sorcery, planeswalker. It costs seven. Four, five, so six, three seven. Attempt. Yeah, nice. Okay, I can sack uh, Omen there. I'll pass to you. <laughs> okay, I'll draw. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start by one, two, three, four. Um, I'm going to Shatter Skull smashing this for four, get a treasure with it on the stack, sack for four mana, animate this, attack and block. Yep. <laughs> Pretty easy sequence of plays. Oh, yeah. Your turn. <laughs> Your turn. I don't think Mountain is going to do it. Mountain's probably not going to do it. Anyone who's just joining from what I assume is going to be a gigantic raid, because <laughs> Spike is such gas these days, and his streams have been, yeah. you know, 2,000 person streams. We probably just set the all-time record for <laughs> single <laughs> you know, viewership on, on Versus Live. I don't know. I think Crokies has... Uh, Rated us uh, once, so, yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> but anyways, everyone, we're playing some wacky Pioneer decks for anyone joining in. Uh, Ross has got a nice little Goggles, is it Goggles deck, and I'm just playing some uh, Luka Fires. Yep, yeah. and uh, that was game one. We're going to yep. take a quick break right now, do some sideboarding, and set up the final two games here on Versus Live, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to a Versus Live, where we are sideboarding in our matchup between is it Goggles and four-color Luka Fires. Yep. On my side, I got one more card I need to bring bring out uh i think i'm just i'm trying to go so my philosophy here in the sideboarding uh is to become a little bit less of a combo deck and a little bit more interactive okay so we're trimming a bit on the sort of combo cards the ramp from vessel fight with fire which you know 
I, this card would still be fine if the normal two in a red mode was good. Yeah. It's not great in this matchup. Uh, uh, really just really. kills Yorian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Maybe then, some cats or something, but yeah. yeah. And we've got four goggles, so we can definitely afford to trim one. Okay. Because we're cutting a lot of red cards here, bringing in a lot of blue cards, so we can interact more appropriately. Okay. Karanos and Narset for some extra card advantage as we're interacting. Ether Gust, historically good against fires. Uh, Mystical Dispute is fine in the matchup, not great. Um, and then Grafter's Cage actually just shuts down Transmogrify, yeah. so uh, we'll have you know that little ace in the hole, I guess. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, didn't really think... You know, we don't see a ton of cages. We really don't so far, but maybe they're yeah. going to be coming back now that like that Rakdos Croxa deck uh, has been popping up a lot. So from my end, it's a product of wanting to get out cards. I'm even bringing in Red Cap Melee instead of Chain to the Rocks because both of them are awful. You have one Gold Span yeah. Dragon, but I just have to leave in some removal. Um, so happy to get out the Ras first. Um, we hope to just never draw them. It's a Yorian deck, but that's also the problem with Yorian decks. You can't always take out every card you want, uh, but the nice thing about the deck is you usually have a lot of card advantage, so you don't really care if you uh, if you have to draw one brick a game. So uh, then just bringing in a bunch of counter spells to be able to fight your goggles and stuff. Yeah, Dovin's Veto is uh, an annoying one, yeah. to say the least. Yep, yep. And I uh, I could easily see myself wanting to change the sideboard if there's a decent amount of matchups that are like this, where it's just like you don't have creatures. Um, you know, maybe Demir Control, Azorius Control, those kind of things would lead me to want more hate. Um, in the board as far as just counter spells go so I could get all of these removal out because you have to cut right now nine cards if there's no creatures four chained uh, and five wraths which, which is tough but those are the only cards you have to cut you know they're the only ones that are completely dead so I would have to uh, you know get four more sideboard slots for that but it could be worth it because most aggro matchups at least for sure mid range is good for us but the really low to the ground decks like uh, Boros Heroic, not always so great. Yeah, especially the ones that can recover from sweepers or, yeah. you know, Heroic can sometimes just outpace Deafening Clarion. Yeah, Deafening Clarion, yeah, not always great there. Um, Supreme Verdict usually is great, but it's slow. And then Chain, you know, sometimes they just have... God's in, Willing. Yeah, God's Willing and Enchantment Removal. God's Willing is not so bad because then you have an empty chain and then when you blink Yorian, it's just like that extra value. But uh, yeah, you it's just, off the chain, really. You just get the two for one back. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I will start. Or wait, you no, lost. I will start. All right, fine, fine, fine. And I will unfortunately mulligan a hand with Grafter's Cage because it only <laughs> has one land. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, honestly, it's not the catch-all be-all. Like, I can just chair Azika's chariot you down. I had people that, uh, when I was playing my YouTube league, which I 5 would by the way, which was sweet. Um, well, technically 4-0, and then one person just scooped the whole match after one game. They're like, I can't. I can't win with that. <laughs> so, um, but I... Uh, um, I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just had straight Azika's Chariot beatdown. Turn four, fires and Chariot. And then, like, the next turn, I played something, cycled, made a 3 3 shark, copied it with Chariot, and I was like, nice, you know, yeah. uh, nice cage. That is a, that's a nice aspect, a new aspect to the deck since they, they yes. printed the, uh, the Chariot that it really didn't get to do before. Exactly. But, yeah, I'm going to keep this. It does need some help, though. Um, this hand is. Perfectly fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm on the play. I'll I actually, up. I very much want to be on the draw. That's excellent. Okay, I'll play this and pass to you. Okay, I'll play an island and pass. All right, I will sack this. I will get a planes. Usually not what you want to get because there's a lot of planes in the deck and you have Bertha Melitis, but I need some white mana to go with my steam vents next turn. Doesn't need green mana. Interesting. Yeah, that comes with the uh, fashionably late lands. Okay, I'll take two and I'll pass to you. So you're at 18. Ooh, actually, maybe I want to just... <sighs> nah. <clears throat> yeah, this is close, actually. Okay, I will I will go like this and just pass. Okay. So you're still at 20. Yep. Um, I will... Play Stormcarve Coast into the Celestis. Celestis? Okay. It is now night or day. Now day, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a sweet uh, card. Do we have a day night marker, Rob? Oh, there it is. Are you blind, uh, Ross? Mostly. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. I will go like this. 
Um, then I'll untap a draw. I'll take two and I'll attempt to play Narset. Uh, Narset resolves. Yay! No dispute. I can't remember if you had those or not, but uh, yeah, I want I want it to go from day to night now. If you don't mind, okay. All right. So I have a choice here. One of my cards is uncastable. The other one is redundant. Yeah, we'll get this uh, chariot, and then I'll pass to you. Um, I will play Expressive Iteration. Okay, yep, go ahead. I just want to read okay. this if you have to do it. You may draw. Okay, so you don't have to um, yeah. discard a card, essentially. Yeah, if it triggers on my turn. Yep. Um, okay, definitely going to exile the hall. Okay, deck the halls. This is tapped. Um, which of these two do I... They're both not bad. Okay. Oh, I kind of think I want this one. Uh, play the hall as my land for turn. Okay. And then pass. All right. I'll untap. Draw a card. I have a lot of cards here. So I maybe don't want to activate Narset unless I plan on playing something. Which I think... You're just going to brick anyway. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Might as well clear those four lands on top. Yeah. Um. All right. I'm just going to take two, and I'm going to pass to you. So you're at 16? Yep. I'm going to play a little defensive here. This seems to be a shark typhoon to me. You never know. Oh, I uh, guess it went to... Uh, yeah. Goes to night. I will uh, decline. <laughs> okay. Good call. Good call. Uh, so I still gain a life, though. So yep. I'm, a, I'm a 21. Yep. Draw for turn. Yep. Not great. Um, well, I will play a Narset, even though mine seems much worse than yours, since you have a shark. Um, yep, that resolves. I will a minus it. Okay. I don't have a shark. Um, then I will take Jawari Disruption. Okay. And I will play <laughs> Jawari Ruins yeah, as not, my land for turn. Not the, not the best card to have perfect knowledge about. I wanted to make a land drop anyway. Perfect. Yeah, being able to nurse it for land drops is kind of messed up. So, 2-2 two, two shark. Yep. You were right. You're right all along. May I untap? Mm, sure. Okay. A draw. I'll attack Narset. Goes to one. Okay. Um, once again, kind of in the same spot with Narset, I'd go up to nine cards, and that's if I want to play things. And... Hmm, I don't really think I do. I'll take two and I'll pass to you. So you go to 14? Yep. It's going to be hard to get above 22 uh, for this game. Mm. Really wanted to hit another land there. Yeah, you, I have a feeling you got a lot of spells. Um... Hmm... Just feels like another shark typhoon to me. I'm a Yorian deck. What are the odds you're going to draw two of a card? You know, it's basically the same as being a Lutri deck, you know? Um, I don't really have anything good I can do with this hand. So I'm just going to pass. All right. You really sniffed it out here. 3-3 three, three shark. Draw. It's not like your deck has a lot of instant speed things to do. I got a lot. Of, I decided in five counter spells. Yeah, but you don't need a fifth mana to cast them. Omens. Excuse me. Okay. Um. So. 
I'll start by activating. Yep. Nice. Gotcha. At least I got to put three lands on the bottom. Definitely drawing Goldspan Dragon next turn. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, I am going to attack the 3-3 three, three at Narset and then the 2-2 two, two at you. Playing around a Flame Blast Bolt, even though I don't really care about Narset anyways. Okay, I'll take two. I got a 19. Yep. And... I'll play a land. And... Let's see here. Let's go with a... Raven's Warning. Birds, birds, birds. I will negate that. Negate my Raven's Warning, okay. You must just have a handful of counter spells, which makes sense. Um, all right, we'll try another one. I will negate that. Okay, then I'll pass to you. Goes today. I played two spells. You get to gain a life for um, sure. Yeah, so I'll gain the life to 20. I'll decline the loot. Okay. Let's play an expressive iteration. Okay. It's been a fun matchup at least though. Definitely exiling the storm carved coast is my land drop for the turn. Okay. And I think I just want that. So Okay, play the coast. Okay. Uh, and then I am going to awkwardly shatter skull smashing the Narset for one. <laughs> okay, dead. And pass the turn. It is pretty threatening uh, just having it in play with, in a Yorian deck too. You know, you can just get it back at any point. Um... All right, I'll attack. I go to 15. Okay, and... You have a million cards in hand? One million, yep. I'm going to... Attempt to... Transmogrify the 3-3. Three, three. I will attempt to Aether Gust the Transmogrify. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I want that one. And then three mana, I can either play the card in my hand or can wait. Two, three, four, five. I think I want to play it now. I'll desphere the Celestis and then I'll pass to you. Okay, now I can cast this unexpected windfall that's been rotting in my hand. Yeah. Pitch an island. Okay. And two treasures for you. I wish that had been my draw step. Yes, yes. That's Those two are uh, match made in heaven. Um, All right, you got a couple little a couple treasures. treasures. And then I will play a lava glide pathway. Okay. And I will pass the turn. Okay. On top. Draw. Attack. I will take five, go to ten. Okay. Well, I mean, it was kind of the play to do last turn. So it would make sense if it's still something I should try. Oh, uh, yeah. Same target. You have five in hand? Uh, four. Four. Yep. You know about the Cadillac from way long ago. True. Um, in a pretty tough spot here. If I had ripped the, the eight galvanic iteration and gotten to draw four with that windfall, be a little bit of a different story. Yeah. Um. Just, mm, just taking this haul is going to be so good. Yep. <laughs> so I think I have to cast a galvanic iteration. Okay. Resolved. 
and then uh, Mystical Dispute. Okay. To play around Dovin's Veto, so yeah. double dispute. Can't pay it, but I'll take two, and I have the other Transmogrify. <laughs> oh, that's max punishing, so you're yeah. 12. Yeah, okay. Uh, what does it do? Top, you reveal the top. Okay. I'll be taking that, and I uh, will pass to you oh, eventually. I'm there very dead. <laughs> All right, here go. And yeah, now you even have enough mana to Yorian next turn. Yep. That's why I put the Transmogrify at top. I knew I was going to have eight mana, so figured either Transmogrify, Chariot, or double Transmogrify was going to be excellent there. Um. Oh, sorry. You know both cards. You know the chain as well. Um. Do not know what I can draw here. Me be like, I can't beat Hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless I somehow try to kill you, which I just yeah. can't do. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking yeah. to just attack with Hall next turn, but that would have definitely been the play. Yeah, I am uh, very dead. I just okay. have a fight with fire that I now don't have enough mana to really do anything with. Yeah. If you would like accidentally put yourself <laughs> to 10, maybe I could try to set something up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it looks like we have time for a pity game at least. You're going to you're gonna take the marbles, but... Yeah, Nar yeah. so far Narset's been a really big problem. Yep. Uh, from my side, I don't really have clean answers to it because Flame Blast Bolt only deals two. Yeah. And uh, it only goes... To Oh, just, it does go to pl Planeswalkers. Maybe I should be keeping those in. Just for Narsets? Yeah, so yeah. kill Narsets on one. To be fair, you wouldn't have been able to kill that Narset for a while because yeah. I just had too many cards, you know? Um, the one thing I have liked about this deck, and also, can you just imagine, like, I mean, this deck used to have it as well, but just with Teferi by its side as well, I'd get to be able to keep that card in and cut some removal, and then, like, you know, the deck would just and be bounce awesome. the goggles. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, just do everything, you know? Yeah. Bad against super aggressive aggro decks, but so good at, like, turn three, Teferi three, to make sure you can go fire something else and protect your transmogrifies, but, yep, here we are. Yeah, I feel like I should have some number of, of bolts in my deck. Uh, especially the goggles, Flame like, bolts, yeah, yeah, you know, you can, uh, I can I can kill a chariot with them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut all my vessels and just. Yeah, they haven't looked good. I can also just desphere them, you know, like yeah. on time if uh, I get to. And I wish I could uh, take out these chain to the rocks and stuff, but they're just forced here. All right, Rob, do you got one last question before we start our last game of today? I did. We had a question about another uh, new land. Uh, new land, okay. A secluded courtyard. Okay. Uh, a secluded courtyard enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, tap to add a colorless, and tap at one mana of any color, spend this mana only to cast a creature spell of the chosen type, or activate an ability of a creature or creature card of the chosen type. So oh, this is the unclaimed territory, yeah. huh? Yeah. So do you think this just replaces unclaimed territory in some decks, or is it just supplement no, it, them? It's, it's certainly supplements. Uh, yeah. Pioneer tribal multicolor tribal aggro hasn't really been a thing, because the mana base isn't there like it is in modern. Or just aggro. Like, in standard and stuff, like, you haven't had uh, any good aggressive lands besides, like, Voldarin Estate, and vampires have just proved that they're not quite good enough. They're close. Yeah. It was close, but... And I know, like, Nasif was doing quite well with it, but maybe we just can have aggro in standard if, you know, standard exists, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, and and really a pioneer too, like that yeah. it and unclaimed territory for a multicolor human stack yeah. is really big. The one thing I've noticed about pioneer mana though is it's pretty good. Like mm. you know with pathways, duels, and all that stuff. Like I kind of feel like you can be a two color aggro deck already. But I'm talking like three or four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You greedy son of a gun, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to like mantis rider people. <laughs> okay. That's in pioneer. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's in okay. uh, cons block. Give it up, Ross. Mantis Rider is not a good card anymore. I mean, it's pretty good in Pioneer if you can yeah. cast it. It doesn't that's, die to a lot. That's Does fair. Does that deck just fair. get hurt because it doesn't have Cavern? Um, I mean... We're just playing like a bunch of these make, make up for it. Yeah, like, so the counter spells aren't a big deal when you're a low-to-the-ground aggressive deck anyway. Um, so that aspect of Cavern isn't a big deal. Obviously, only having eight you know, of those Rainbow Lands instead of 12 like they have in Modern uh, is a problem. And I, you know, I would even explore... Vampire decks with Voldarn Estate. Maybe you can play three colors there and be a Mardu vampire yep. deck. 
uh, and get to play like a Danto Vanguard as mm-hmm. a, your two drop because that's a lot better than any of them in Rakdos other than a Blood Tithe Harvester. Yep. Um, so maybe there's something that you could do there as well. Um, there, there's a lot of different avenues I think that are opened up that just weren't really viable before, and it, it's going to be a matter of you know testing and tuning them and seeing if they have the power level to stand up to the rest of the format. Mm-hmm. But I'm yep. excited to try them. Yeah, sounds sweet. It sounds sweet. Also, what did you think about the new Elvish Visionary? The one in a one creature. It's a one one draw card when it enters. That one is interesting because it's an enchantment. So in enchantment, let's get real. If it wasn't an enchantment, it'd still be interesting to you. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> but it wouldn't have an obvious home to me. Yeah. But in the Enchantress deck in Modern, I could see playing that card for sure. And yeah. it, you know that deck just wants more cheap cards. Uh, so that could be r- really helpful there. Uh, I'm not sure where you know where else it would fit. I mean, I, I wonder if like the the Orzov um, Auras decks mm. might want to play a card like that. Um, probably not. Probably it's just not. not aggressive enough. Yeah. That, that, you know, it being an enchantment, it having a ton of extra abilities uh, makes it intriguing. Oh, maybe in um, Enigmatic Incarnation. Oh, yeah. Because it's a both, you can find it as a creature if you want to. You can sacrifice it as an enchantment if you want to. Mm. And it's just. You know, block. I like that. There Someone you go. In chat just came up with named it Pupper Visionary, and I'm 100 percent on board with that. Pupper Visionary, yeah, that, it's a dog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, with uh, Incarnation, it's nice. You play that on two. It, it's also like an omen. You don't search for many things off one drops because all your one drops are removal mm. spells that you sack for enchantments. So your two drop. There's only one two drop in the deck for that reason. It's Charming Prince. Yeah. So like, eh, fine, but yeah. But, but that is a, cute. Solid one. You blink with yeah. Yorian. You block with it early. It oh, yeah. All those little things. Blinking with Yorian is uh, <laughs> is what I'm here for. So, all right. We got one last pity game here. And I'm on the play for it. And I yep. will keep. Well, we have a bad card. But, yeah, we'll YOLO it anyways. I'll play a Steam Mets tapped. Okay. I will. Okay. Well, this is getting silly. <laughs> I will play this and pass to you. Uh, I've got a mountain. Pass the turn. Okay. All right. I just have a planes and I'll pass to you. And step, I'll cast Arcane Infusion. What does that even do? I look at the top four cards in my library. I can reveal an instant or sorcery from among them, put it in my hand, rescue on the bottom in a random order. Okay, sure. As flashback for five. Okay, okay. Uh, and that's goggles and three lands. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. How's your deck working out so far? It's great. <laughs> Just excellent. Just excellent. Um, now I will play an expressive iteration. <laughs> okay. Resolves. Um, Stormcarve Coast. This one can go here. Okay. Um, I will play the coast, and then I will play a Grafdigger's Cage. Ooh, the cage, huh? Well, I guess I'll Dovin's Veto that one. You're up. All right. Look! Nope, not the top deck I wanted there. Um, I will just... Well, actually, no, that's not bad. Okay, I'll play Land and Pass to you. Uh, River Glide Pathway, Narset. Narset! Um, yeah, that resolves. I will minus it. Okay. Um, wow. It's uh, non creature, non land, eh? I guess I'm <laughs> taking a Shatter Skull Smash okay. and putting all the cards I want on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Done? Yep. And Devil Cycle. Sure. A one tap, a draw. Okay, that is not a great draw there. Um, I'm going to go get an island and try to play a Narset. That resolves. With Veil up. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of these days. There we go. One of each land and then three planes for Birth of Melitis is the plan. And then I will activate... One, two, three, four. Um, well, I think I just want another one of these, and I will pass to you. Interesting. Uh, I'll minus the Narsa. Okay. I will select Unexpected Windfall. Okay. It's a great one. Yeah. <laughs> it's been very good against your pile of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> 
You do have a smashing to deal with this one, but you do know about the other one. Um, I will take two, go to 18. Okay. And... Yeah, I'll smash the Narset for three. Okay. Pass the turn. All right. Draw. Um, I'm going to double check. I'm pretty sure I only have one island. Yep. Okay. Slightly an annoyance, but that's okay. I will play this Narset. Activate. Yep. Okay. Now I got... Some good options. Um, but I think the best one just being a shark. That's going to be excellent here. And I will play a land and I'll pass to you. Okay, now I will play a mountain. Okay. I will play Pyromancer's Goggles. The Goggles. Okay, it resolves. I will tap it for red and double bolt the Narsa. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Exiled, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Then I'll pass the turn. Okay, that's annoying. And now, if there's no detention sphere over there, I feel good. If yeah. there is, then we play on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I do. I don't have that, but I have a Narset. <laughs> <laughs> Activate. Yep. Detention sphere. Detention sphere. Detention sphere. Oh, uh, I have four choices, and none of them are detention sphere. Um. Yes. Do I just want to do this? It's not the worst. Um. I am going to just pick a birth of Melitis. Yep. Um, I will play it. Yep. And get a planes. And I'll pass to you. Okay, so now I have an interesting decision. Okay. I think you just cast two unexpected windfalls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I'm definitely casting this expressive iteration. Okay. And the question is, do I want to copy it? <laughs> because if I find a flame bless bolt, it would be nice to just copy the bolt and deal with the Narset. Yes. But it would also be nice to just get another expressive iteration. That's true. Uh, and I also just have this arcane infusion to copy if I miss. Yeah. So, like, if I just iteration, you know, hold up mana, I can infusion on your end step and just get two sp another spell out of that. Yep. Which is not bad. So, I think I'm just going to single iteration. Okay. Not sure if that's right. Um, I will exile this land, put this card here. Okay. Um, let's play River Glide Pathway. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. Well, now you have, you can double thing, thingamabobber. Interesting draw. I'll activate. Yep. One, two, a three, a four. Um, you should have a 04 wall. Right oh, yeah, there. thank you. I think I'll just take a shark typhoon here. So now you have two shark typhoons now. Yep, in your seven card hand. Yep, is that an eight card? That's an eighter. I got an eighter. Yep, yeah. All right, you know, you know about those, and that's it. Um, okay, so. Gonna have to have a good turn, so we just kind of have to play things and hope they land, even though I highly doubt it. Um, all right, let's start with a transmogrify. I will gust your you gust your transmogrify. Okay. Um, guess I can sack this first. Yeah, I'm just going to bottom this one anyways, and then I'm going to sack to go get a... Get a mountain. And... Uh, but wait, there's more. Uh, detention sphere. 
Jewelry disruption. No! <laughs> okay, your go. So, got a little punished for uh, not copying the iteration, but it's probably it was only worth one card because I could only play one land if I yeah. exile. And I was wanted to leave up the counter spells anyway. Yeah, no, it seemed reasonable. Uh oh, god. Um, so I know you have transmogrify on top of your deck. No, I bottomed it. Oh, you bottomed it. Yeah. Okay. And you have three unknowns and two typhoons. Yep. Um. Hmm. So Corey does have enough mana next turn to buy Ori and cast it. Though it would just be blinking the Narset, which is not bad. Yeah. Um. Sure, you got a Dwari Disruption all lined up for me. Your Dwari Disruptions have been insane. They've all been on like turn <laughs> seven or later. To be fair, this is a deck that uses its mana very yeah. efficiently. Yeah, I think I got to start this turn with the copied Flashback Infusion. Yeah, let's hope it treats you better than the other one. Um, I will take a Mystical Dispute off the first one. Okay. Not the best, but not the worst. Yep. And then I will take... Um, well, feeling a little silly here. Silly? You? Nah. Um, I think I have to bite the bullet here and play around another transmogrify. Um, and if I'm going to do that, then I probably shouldn't have taken this dispute. <laughs> I was hoping to hit like another a negate and yeah. then have negate dispute up uh, something like that though that's that still wouldn't have been that good yeah yeah, probably was a mistake to take this dispute now that I'm thinking about it but I will take a flame blast bolt okay um, and I'm going to very sadly because I was on eight mana this turn fight with fire your wall <laughs> yes love it um and I, had, there was another fight with fire off this. I could have just not shown you the one in my hand. Still yeah. done everything and had it set up. Done. But I will pass. Well, you got so punished by all your decisions this game. <laughs> Unlike, you know, you couldn't have known, but Me too. I have the agent in my hand. <laughs> well, that's probably game. Yeah. And I had the other one in my hand. So if you let Transmogrify resolve, <laughs> it would have bricked. <laughs> <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's pretty cool, huh? I uh, <laughs> think we have different definitions of that. But. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's start this turn with a very easy flameless bolt on the nurse. Okay, okay. Exiled. Sure, sure. And finally use your unexpected windfall? Uh, yeah, but I'm going to do it in a somewhat better way. Okay. I've got Galvanic Iteration, I think. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. And, uh, then cast the windfall. Okay. Which of these two cards do I want to discard? Yeah, to be... <laughs> discard this Narset. Probably good when I showed you the other agent, but, uh, yep. maybe you would have did it the other way around. But honestly, for the Robins, I couldn't resist. Uh, so now I have four treasures. Yep, here you go. I have not played a land so far this turn. Okay. So let's, uh, play a mountain. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. I'll untap. I will draw. Um. Now I can just attack Narset if I want. Seems a reasonable. Oh, yeah, I'll attack Narset. Narset's down. And then I will... Cast Birth Melitis. That's fine. I'll go get a Plains. And I don't want to play a Tap Triome and just pass to you. Oops. 
Okay, I'll start this turn with an expressive iteration. Okay. Um... Hmm. Uh, kind of a difficult choice here. This one I know is going to my hand. Okay. Um, so you're probably just making a 4-4 shark. It does seem like that. It definitely does seem like that. 3-4. Uh, oh, that's not good. Agent with dispute, Mana? Is that what you're just you're referring to? Yep. <laughs> That's not that, good at all. That is why I played Birth of Elitis, to line up that to play around your face up card. Um well, in that case, we're definitely getting an island. Okay. <laughs> and not this hall. <laughs> ah, good call, good call. Um play island. Okay. Uh-oh. Play Karanos. Karanos? Okay. I was hoping I didn't have to read this card. You weren't <laughs> going to draw it, but... I reveal the first card I draw each turn on my turn. Okay. Um, okay, sure, sure, sure. During my draw step, if it's a land, I draw another one. If it's not a land, I lightning bolt. Okay. And then I'll pass the turn. And step 4-4 four, four shark? Yep. Boink. I will not clone that shark. I wish I could, but... All right. 4-4. Four, four. I will a draw... Untap. A draw. Um, okay. Guess that makes things a little easier for me. I'm going to attack for six. I'll go to 12. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'm going to try to play fires. Wow. <laughs> Just in case old Ross had a galvanic iteration plus dispute, this plays around that. Well, I literally do. Oh, <laughs> it's, right. yeah, well. it's in my graveyard. <laughs> I said just in case if you do, just so happens you do. Was that all you had? Um... <laughs> Well, I guess I have to do this just to buy a turn with Karanos and maybe find another <laughs> counter spell somehow. Yeah. So, yeah, throw away all my treasures. Okay. Iteration plus dispute the fires. Okay, I'll um, pay for it. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you just get to pay. <laughs> so there's just nothing I can do. Yeah, and then I'll slay this. <laughs> yeah, you just have six mana. Yeah. 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 So I'm just dead. Yeah, I have okay, no way I can okay. beat my own Karanos. <laughs> no way I can beat my own Karanos. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be the line that we'd end versus live on, is, That's but yeah. that's pretty sweet. Corey but, Sand was a lot different than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, so my first draw for the game was Agent. My third draw of the game was Agent, and I'm like, okay, I just have to keep a straight face so that my transmogrifies are still must counters, because if you let that one resolve, I I'm screwed and yeah. and i just i couldn't just jam that on seven because it's very unlikely that it was uh going to resolve but yeah yeah uh biggest issue was just narset yeah like, i couldn't ever get a windfall turn because you said narset early every game yeah and uh, yeah I, I having the flame bus bolts in was definitely much better yeah i think if i have those in in game yeah. two maybe i have a better shot because i yeah. end up dealing with maybe i deal with a narset somewhere uh, that I didn't otherwise deal with. Yeah. So a little unfortunate I didn't get to do my thing with uh with this deck. Do you have lava sweet. coils or anything? Or no. Okay, but that does hit planeswalkers, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think lava coil did. Lava coil doesn't. And and the front si the problem is also the front side of fight with fire doesn't. Yeah, you know but, what you need is scorching, scorching dragon fire. Yeah, I mean honestly, yeah, but, or fire prophecy if that hits planeswalkers. But, I can't remember. But it's also just so important to have one mana. Spells so you can tap out for goggles and then cast a double, get a copy. That's true. So having spells oh, that cost true, a yeah. single red mana really help your curve. Like it's also why you have you have Celestis too and Vessel and Celestis both ramp perfectly. So Vessel yeah. goes turn three goggles. Uh, Celestis is turn four goggles. That's In both true. Both cases you're tapped out. 
Uh, honestly, I think I would just not have vessels in the deck and be more interactive. Yeah, like, yeah, that that's what I was thinking too. Just more is it control stuff, and in yeah. that case, you could play some scorching dragon fire. Yeah, you like, just have more room. Fine card, yeah, like, it's to, not the best, but you'd have Red more Cap room to diversify is, your removal suite. Red Cat Melee is one you should have for sure. Yeah, they have rending volleys here, maybe yeah. for like, thing in the ice or spirits or something. But uh, yeah, I would definitely have Red Cat Melees too. Yeah, because that's a great one for when you just tap out. For your uh, goggles, your goggles, and then and like against Winota, you pay you red cat melee the Winota, and then you know yeah, screw it, hit else. anything else, get rid of a land. Like when you have goggles, then you untap with goggles for land, and then you know you could play another card. You could go even with that mana, Galvanic iteration plus unexpected windfall, and then you get you know six treasures. Yeah, so yeah. That, that was the biggest thing for me. I would just prefer to be an is it control deck more and yeah. less ramp. Um, because yeah. it, th you know, I just couldn't interact enough with you once you were able to have Narset to shut down the, the main plan of Windfall. Is Goggles only for red things? Only for red spots. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, why is All Runs Epiphany not in that deck? Yeah. Like, that's a perfect curve into it, but yeah. Only okay. for red spells. There is the, Wait, uh, yeah. isn't there the, is it Time Walk? Yeah. Yeah, they're probably, like, I would probably play one of those. I, I think you play more. a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, like, instead of the other cards, because then you go Goggles into that, you take two turns, and then you have two turns to figure out stuff. You have your next turn as a setup thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, th I think there's some cool stuff you could do with this yeah. deck because uh, I think killing goggles is actually like, kind of hard in Pioneer based on what people yeah. play. It seems like it. You could even have Chandra dressed to kill if you really want to go a little rampy for it instead of Celestis. But maybe that one's a little bit I, not so I, much. Yeah. You know, you're playing other blue cards too, but yeah. you're playing enough red cards, like maybe uh, maybe one or two because that's also yeah. some card advantage and uh, uh, so play can play into a bit of a control plan. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I would say worth testing, but I wouldn't be super optimistic. Yeah. Um, but that, that was my biggest takeaway. The, the, the ramp elements that weren't goggles did not seem very good, and I just didn't have the right answers to deal with what I needed to deal yeah. with. And I, I was playing a deck that is very much putting the pedal to the metal. You got to deal with everything all the time, yeah. uh, which, you know, yeah. that's I mean, tough. A yeah. Agent of Treachery is really good against me. I've really got a good. lot of juicy targets. And honestly, only having two still feels wrong. It's always been three, so I, I just trusted the list, but, you know... Games like that will come up a non-zero percent of uh, of times, but yeah, whatever. All right, that is going to do it for our Pioneer show for our ninth show. We got eight left. Month of February is uh, is all that remains. Yeah, take your marvels. You take it down. Rob's going to thank some uh, subs. We're going to thank some sponsors, and we're going to head out. Well, no new subs today, but thank you to all of our other subs. Well, in that case, we're just leaving then. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> we would also like to thank our sponsor, Coalesce Apparel. If you like the shirts that we wear, you can find their entire collection of t-shirts, hoodies, and stickers at coalesceapparel.shop. And be sure to use the gift code SCG when checking out to get 10% off of your purchase. I like this one so much better than the Splinter Twin. You know, it just makes so much more sense that these would be a perfect yin to yang teammates, you know? I just don't understand why the twin one isn't one of the creatures and twin. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I guess because it's not technically a creature. You just have, you know. But who cares? Batter yeah. Skull's not technically a creature either. That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, this one, though, this is nice. I can picture these two playing some ball, you know, Stoneforge Mystic, you know, passing it up. The 10 feet tall alley oops from Batter Skull. Like, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes it sense. Works. All right, and uh, next up we have the two or the cons that are coming back. Um, Philly is going to be the next one. We got that in a couple weeks. Here, going to be some really exciting stuff. We got modern. We got legacy. There's flesh and blood. Kamigawa pre-release, the big kind. You know, like I've I've never played a big pre-release. I never have. You know, I've played a couple. I I've played them all at my like you know small shops and then just on arena and moto and stuff. But I played uh, the guild packed pre. Uh, Guild Pact pre release in 2006. Yeah. Okay. I played the um, Lorwyn pre release. A lot of Lorwyn block. I, I was going okay. to pre then. Nice, nice. My Lorwyn block pre release deck was so good. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> Did you win? Mm, yeah. yeah. I had Profane Command. I had um, Mirror Entity. Oh my and God. Hey, you said enough. That has to be the best <laughs> of cards. Like. And, and Forced Fruition. I, I was I was Demir Splash, the Mirror Entity. Wow. And the Forced Fruition is a six man enchantment. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, they have to draw seven cards. So in a 40 card deck, like they get four spells to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That is disgusting. All right. Well, anyways, if you want to join him and try to beat his busted decks because he's so lucky, uh, come on down to Philly. We'll be there. It should be a lot of fun. Go to StarCityGames.com uh, to get more information on these cons. And if you need to update your collection to start playing in these paper events, you can sell cards to SCG because they're always buying, and the process has never been easier because there are so many ways to do it. You can use the Buy List feature on the website. You can mail your cards in to let SCG do the work for you. 
you can make an appointment and come into the store to do your business in person. And if your collection is big enough, you can make an appointment and have Star City Games come to you. So pick whichever works best for your situation. And do keep in mind that when trading cards in for store credit, you will get a 30% bonus. And the last piece of business is our sale. We got a sale going on every single week here at Star City Games, always finding ways to save you money. And this time it is 10% off sealed product. So you want to crack some boosties, you know, get some drafts in with your buddies on the kitchen table. Uh, the sale is for you. So go to starcitygames.com slash sale um, to get more information on that. Now remember that sale does end Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So if you want to get uh, some boxes and stuff, do it over the weekend. But yeah, that's going to do it for our Pioneer Show. That was a fun one. Yeah, a lot of yeah. cool decks doing cool stuff. This is going to be one that I hope people watch over when it gets put on YouTube tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Other yeah. ones you don't want them, you hope they there don't watch. There are certain watch. ones, yeah. 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 There are certain ones. Oh, is it when I have those, uh, <laughs> those marvels? That makes oh, sense. one where Ross uh, fell off his chair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Can we have that like cued for our transitions <laughs> whenever we go to the next scene? Like it's just Ross falling back. I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll have to work on some stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think uh, every director would like to see that one. That's for sure. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, checking out some more Magic: The Gathering. So, for Rob, Ross, Merriam, I'm Corey Baumeister. See you then. <laughs>